two. Hey, welcome back. Big D Energy right here on the Word Word Sport Big Network. D. My name is Big Neil Rule. That guy fired up. Joy Bell, that guy fired up. Darren McCarty, four-time Stanley Cup champion. Of course, with the Detroit Red Wings fish in the bowl. The child of Flint, Arturo, is in the production booth as well. All of you guys are in effect. Remember, you can get involved with the show. We run that chat thread on the YouTube channel. If you're listening on the radio, 93.5 The Roar, that's cool too. However you're taking in the show, we're certainly grateful that you are. But we are here in effect. And boys, it was a, it was a crazy night last night over... Over at the rule household, I don't know how it was for you guys, but that that storm got nasty out there last night. You know what? A lot of people, uh, a lot of friends, lost a lot of power last night, and it's been happening like more frequently lately. Right. Uh, that, you know, that's, that's another reason I'm happy I went solar. Hey, check out solar. Joy Solar Bell is in the house. That's a good point. How about yeah. you, D Mac? Ah, uh, no. I mean, I watched. Uh, I'm lucky uh, in my yard that there's. Uh, area that water gathers in, and then I got to watch it and I look and I go oh okay so that's how I tell how much water's sort of come down when I got to go fish it out or deal disperse with it, it mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like this but yeah. yeah I mean we've had a wet few days ruined our golf game at Franklin Hills yeah. yesterday oh, but that uh, was crushing that sucks but yeah so shout out uh, to anybody who's lost power and you know trees coming down but yeah. I don't know. Something to do that they say global warming's uh, not real. I don't know. <laughs> they say it's not. If it's, it's, I was coming in to work and stuff, so I'm coming in. I get a text from my sister. She's like, um, "Can I use your freezer?" My, you know, I just went grocery shopping on Tuesday. I have a lot of groceries, and my power just went out. I said, "Yeah, you know, bring it on over, please." Pull up on yeah, me. Pull up on me. Pull, pull up on me. Bring bring all your groceries. <laughs> bring them all. I have now plenty is, she, of is she also? Does she have? Does she uh, her taste of food? Like you, like oh, uh, you know what? Yes and no. So okay. you know, she has the, the three kids, so she's gonna have some, you know, some snacks and stuff for the kid. But she'll have some good stuff. Though. Yeah, that, she that, always has go good. through there, and she'd be like, "I thought I bought that." Uh, and George uh, said, "No, nope. no, nope. nope." You know, she might have, you know, yeah, it might it might be a cheat day. She might have some Oreos. I might dig into. Ooh, you know, there you go. She might pull up on those Oreos. Pull up on no Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thing, how do you eat your Oreo? Do you dip it? Do you you break them first? How do you do? I, I, you know what? I am an equal opportunity. I will bite one. I will dip one. I will crack one. But the peanut butter uh, chocolate pie Oreos are the greatest Oreos <laughs> ever <laughs> created in the history. I know we're sitting looking at our boy Isaac Eats over there, and I've seen him. Uh, shout out to him. But I've seen him try different things. But the peanut butter chocolate pie are Dare McCarty's favorites. So... Can never go wrong. Get me one of those. You hear that? You hear that, listeners? You guys want an autograph from um, our boy D Mac? Just bring over those peanut butter pie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I even thought of you. that. I'll give you a free one, anyways. You. But yeah, bring some cookies. Uh, yeah, a- absolutely. Uh, Don Moore says people basements and freeways have been flooding since June. No, that's true, man. It's it's been crazy. I was I was actually driving home. My wife had my wife's a teacher. For those of you that don't know, she had meetings, so I had to go get both of my kids from school. And then I was going home, and it was going to be like a takeout dinner night. And I was rolling to the spot to uh, to order it up, and I'm sitting at the light up where I live in Washington Township and saw a tree branch fall over and a transformer explode. Then the whole wow. neighborhood around me went dark, including the spot I was going to get food from. So mm. I had to go home and cook. We, we had power, so did we Did you, did you order lucky. in advance? No, I was getting ready to just roll through the, you know, the, Here's a the question. drive through there. Here's a question that I heard yesterday, um, and I asked you guys, when it gets inclement weather and you're forced in, do you use uh, the delivery app or Uber Eats or, like, putting no, somebody I out? Yeah, I don't. Because I, I don't. Like, I will go out of my way, but I wonder if people do or if people that are drivers and my cross street right. neighbor <laughs> joy's face says he does <laughs> yeah. my, my across the street neighbor's about that life about the uh uber eats and doordash and all that stuff i, I just you know the, fee, the fees bother me man no you know what it is though like you like people out there working they they're working for a reason they're working because they want to make money so i'm not going to deprive them of them making money and then even after oh, you that you can justify I'm a it any way you want Joy. And, and, yeah. I, and i'm a tip both things can be true joint yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's how you look at it you know Absolutely. it's a cup half full half empty 
Yeah. You know, when, when, you know, you wake up early in the morning and it's snowing outside. Are you gonna go to the gym and get that workout in? You go, ah, oh, I'm gonna hang. I'm, no, I'm gonna chill today. Which no, one I'm are you a, gonna do? I'm gonna go get that workout. Okay, exactly. Yeah. So a person's in inclement weather. They're like, okay, I'm staying today, or I'm gonna go get that money. You know, they got kids to feed, and so I look at it in that standpoint. No, I, I feel all you, Joy. All right, all right. What about you? Uh, no, my, my budget does not include spending an extra twenty thirty dollars to have someone deliver my food. But if it works for you, Joyke, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Why right. does Art always say that so like it's hey, condescending? Hey, hey, you, you, but you know what it is. You know what it is. It's going to continue to not be in this budget. Why? Because he puts that out there into the universe. That's your right, Joy. Every why, time. Why? Exactly. He never listens. Yeah, he never listens to us. That's what it is. His universe is just like. It's like a dust ball. It's like pig pen and, and uh, I thought athletes were able peanuts. to take criticism better. And, well, I, and it's not even criticism. No, it's, it's not. We're, we're, not we're, we're observing, Art, that the negativity that you always like to. No, 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 no I'm just no, saying no, no. it's not, not in my opinion. budget. How do, why is it no, not in your budget? Because I don't. Did I, we ask I you what's in your budget? You asked me if I used it. You said it's not in my budget. And you could have said no. Right. No, it's not. I gave you an explanation. You're not supposed to ask if you ever eat at more uh, Morton Steakhouse. Oh or, God, or no, I it? can't afford that. No. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, can't, I can't afford it. Why? You always I can't want afford the why, D-Man. You know what? We're not allowed to why. say. Joint's telling you the why is that you keep putting negativity and honesty. What? No negativity. Okay. No, ne but negative. you're not building. Oh, okay. You're I not building in a positive. I would like to hear that I can't do that and afford that today. But someday I would like to use Uber eats like yeah. you join oh, okay. and spend that that's what i want to okay. see you i want to oh, see you okay try to attain it. to that level of throwing 50 dollars out to somebody i will, who needs I it. will say joik you have inspired me with your oreo habits and i do use the fork now and i dip it in the bowl so oh. joik you have inspired wait me. hold on we didn't go i i said i'll do any other way or whatever like that yeah. uh you know i so saw i have what's the fork the fork is when you take the fork you put it in the middle uh in the middle through the cream oh, you just dip it down so you don't lose it Oh, and then you don't get milk on your hands. Yeah, you don't get milk on your hands. See the athlete. Life hack. I, he has taught me stuff. Thank and you, Joey. And, then, and then another thing that I do is uh, when I'm on a go, I, 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 oh, if I'm watching a good movie, I take a bunch of Oreos and I just untwist them just a little bit. Not all the way, just a little bit. Just, you know, nice, nice little twist. Nice, a nice little half twist. Put it back in the cup. I might take like eight cookies and put them in the cup and take milk and pour milk in there. And chop it up, and it's like cookies and cream. And I, I like it, and I do it like eat it like cereal. And it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try. Go home I, and I'm, try. I'm it. going home to try that with my. Yeah, yeah just crack I'm it up. I'm going to get some peanut butter chocolate chip. Lord. What about you? What about you, Neil? Are you like you uh, can't? Because that's. That's sort of like the I, I I will I don't do like the the regular milk I don't do um, because of all the sugar yeah that's no, no. In milk like but there's this a is ton like, like, of sugar in milk so so I and I'm seriously asking this because you know you, you're somebody that has battled the sugar yeah. so is there an alternative to somebody who yeah like mm -hmm. almond you know almond milk is is kind can of my go-to can go you eat the Oreos like a couple Oreos or like Which, is that allowed well or? I mean just being real though almond milk is basically water like <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that that's essentially what it is but. You know, with, with all that being said, yeah, you know, I'll I'll, I'll twist off a couple of Oreos. You know, like the, Your the sugar's that. not awful. I'll eat three of them. You're a twister. Yeah, I'm a twister. Well, last time, well, last time you had three Oreos in a day. Last time I had three Oreos in a day, uh, I don't know, probably about three, four months ago. Golf course, probably. No, no. I'm team hot dog at the golf course. Well, I was just meaning that, you know, they have all that plethora of snacks. I'll have a hot dog. Hot dog. Only at the up. golf course. Hot so. dog at the Golf Speaking course. of hot dog, Charles said his um, power went out last night at ten thirty, and it didn't come back on to eight. So yesterday, the kids, the grandkids, had to um, eat. I fired up the grill and the smoker, and they make steaks and burgers. Oh, hey, that's a good way. That's to go. taking lemons and making lemonade. So I wonder, and so I want. So question: If you have a gas fireplace, will it work if your electric goes off? It'll still work. No, because you got to have no. the switch right to turn. Right. You got to turn the switch on, on it. <laughs> You can turn, you flip the switch, but it won't. But you can it put a lighter down at night. But you can. It's got no gas coming through it. The gas line. Okay. Plus, you have to have the power to power the switch to turn it on. And I'm no electrician. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I'm okay. I'm the furthest thing from an electrician. Yeah. But I know there's a switch I have to have. Are to you turn more of a plumber on. or a carpenter? Uh, I'm more of a call. Uh, <laughs> you You're more call. of a call. Yeah, call, call, call my dad. You yeah, know. Call him up. My, my day. My dad's call my deep granddad. in the streets. I call uh, my wife. You call your wife? <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, I, no, seriously. 
<laughs> she taught me how to do most things around the house. Yeah, I ain't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I call my grandfather. I say, hey, so a lot. Of, so I wait for a lot of things to go wrong at, at, at my house. <laughs> and make, I, make one trip. Yeah, yeah. So I let it build up. <laughs> And uh, I'll call my grandma, kind of, you know, I sweet talk my grandma. Hey, Grammy Whammy, uh, when you and Grandpa gonna come up for a couple of days? Uh, when you want us to come up, baby? You know, when yeah. you want us to come up? You know, I can't, can't say my, my my family nickname, but when you want me to come up, baby? I say come up, you know, sometime next week. Say pull, pull up on me. Yeah, next pull week. up on me. Yeah, pull up <laughs> on me, Gra Grammy Whammy. You know, bring Grandpa. We'll go fishing, you know, in the backyard. We'll have a good time. Just just come on out. And now come out. Now, Joyke, I do have to say, Emerald Eyes uh, makes a good point about art with the with the DoorDash and the Uber Eats. It'd be like a thousand dollars for art with his eleven <laughs> kids. You got to think about that too. Right, so, art? question: Do you um, so what, do you go to the grocery store to get your groceries, or do you order your groceries, Art? Uh, my wife does like the Kroger pickup thing. So, yeah, okay. that's, how is that? Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. she keeps all the kids in the car, and they're not like wild monsters that just run through the grocery store. So it works for her. Yeah, she does all the grocery shopping. So I'm like, the grocery guy. So, so I, I love it. Yeah, that's my. Thing. I do it's too. My jam. Put it's, in my it's headphones. Like, get out of my way, man. And that's I'm, why I like mowing the lawn. I yeah, do the. I'm I mow the lawn, lawn and thing. I do the grocery, and it doesn't matter. I, I could, I could make millions of dollars, and I'm still gonna mow my lawn. That's what's up. Because yeah. it, cause it's it's an escape for an hour and a half, man. It That's is. That's mental health. So you're doing it more so for well, mental no, health. No, it's not even that. Like, it's not I'm like my life is, is crazy I'm... and I can't deal with it. It's just I'll catch up on the podcast stuff, do stuff yep. for the show, you know, research for the show, hear different people's opinions, you know, take take that into account, kind of formulate my opinion based on all the information I take in. And that's how I do it, Joy. Like, that, I roll out. I don't, I don't waste any time, man. No time wasted. You want once a week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually on the weekend, sometime not, not bad, you know, when, you know. when when there's a minute. No, it's it's not bad at all, man. I, the only time I grocery shop is if I'm gone, uh, if I'm if I'm like out of town, like if I'm back in my hometown, I got to go there. If not, I'm definitely ordering off the app, or if it's something I have to go grab quick, I'll run to the grocery store grab like something quick. But I'm not really like walking through the aisles and like really shopping, shopping, unless you know I'm going there for one thing, and all of a sudden. I'm walking out with 20, 30 things. And that's usually how it works. So you can kind of say I do kind of grocery shop because I always go in with this mindset. I'm just going to grab this, and I walk out with uh, a bunch of stuff. That's that, everybody, though. That's everybody. You know, I'm just going to spend 20 bucks grabbing this, and all of a sudden, $200 later. Like, well, th there, is, there is a $200 cover charge to walk in the grocery store. You know, like that's, that's, just, the, that's just the way that it is, man. Maybe, maybe 100 for a grocery store, but when you get the Sam's Club or Costco mm -hmm. or BJ's, that's mm -hmm. a $200 ticket. Mm -hmm. And you got stuff yeah. for days, though. You know, but I'm a, so are you a Costco or you a Sam's Club I'm guy? I'm a BJ's because it's got it right around. It's the same thing. It's right around the corner from my house in Madison Heights. So it's the is same B thing as Costco or Sam's Club. Discount, True. big, yeah, great deals. Is it, be is it better than? I, I think that they all have their benefits. I think that, the, you know, it's sort of like the brand. It's like Reebok, Nike, whatever else to... I, what you're looking about, I, I go there because I know where everything is and I get like it has everything that I that I desire. So <laughs> it's funny. No, you said I, I didn't want to bring I didn't want to bring this up. But um This finna be good. It, it's finna be good. It, it's finna be good. <laughs> Um, you know what? No, I'm not gonna bring it up. No, Joy, you, can't you, can't, do that. you can't take us down you can't that road. Do that. And that, then not drop like us illegal. off at the door. Can I okay. throw a flag fifteen? Yeah. No, it's it was a store. It yeah. was it was a store. It's it was I think it was uh, I can't remember the name of the store, but it was in correlation. It was saying um what was it? I can't remember what the first store was, but basically whatever the name of the store was is what they were selling. Is what they were selling. All right. And that's what they had in the store. It's like a dollar store? Had a dollar? No, it wasn't a dollar store. Whatever the name of was Five below? Five below. You've been no, at five below? That's no, whatever. a spot for five so, bucks so, or less. So man? say so say this um say just for the sake of argument, the name of the store was called Chains. Okay. All right. Oh, chains sell chains. Yeah. And so the mean was a girl uh, a guy came on, he said, Oh, chains sell chains. And it goes to the next it goes to the next. He said, I'm gonna run the BJ's. So he ran the BJ's. <laughs> and then and then a girl came on and said, Chain sell chains. Oh, let me go to Dick's. Sporting's good. And so she ran the Dick's Sporting good. <laughs> and so, a good one. so it was kind of it was kind of That is funny. good. I get what you're saying. There's a lot <laughs> of entendres out there, but you know what? That we're gonna joke a little bit. 
But let me take it a little bit more serious. And I'm not even talking about the Lions. I'm talking about MyBookie.ag, our studio sponsor. Because this Saturday, Arturo from Flint and the Watts Party Art of Combat will be there. There will be blood. Head to MyBookie.ag and get in on the UFC first blood promotion. Sounds like... Sounds like Johnny Rambo, but it's not. It's going to be even more gruesome than that. When any fighter on the card bleeds, you win. The second you see blood, you get paid. Bet is centered around five main card fights, including two title fights. You know the octagon won't stay dry for long, so take advantage of this opportunity. Make some easy money with my bookie. What are the odds of Nick Diaz bleeding before even taking a first punch just by excitement? It could happen. He's bled three of his last four fights, and Robbie Lawler... We know he's a leaky faucet. So, by the end of this five-round rematch, blood will be spilled. So, head to my bookie now. Remember, use your promo code Woodward to get a 100% match bonus. Put 100, get 100, bet two for the fight. It's all the way up to 1,000. So, you could be betting with $2,000 for this fight. If you go to mybookie.ag, if that's not your jam, we got, the, we got our Lions... Uh, uh, plus eight right now on the MyBookie line for the Saturday afternoon bet, but that may not do. Go over to MyBookie.ag for everything. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. Gambling problem called Michigan Problem Gambling Helpline, 888-223-3044. That's Mr. Chains Bell. That's Mr. <laughs> Two <laughs> That's chains. Mr. Oreo Rick Ross in the middle <laughs> Neil Rule. I'm D Mac Darren McCarty. We are Big D Energy. We'll read right back here with Word Sports Network. Tony is a third generation logger that has a simple, practical approach to life and work. That's why his Coast DX342 knife is perfect for him. The stainless steel blade is rust resistant and made for all weather use and the double roll lock safety ensures that it will never inadvertently close when he doesn't want it to. That's why Coast is trusted tough. We're off and running here. Big D Energy Woodward Sports Network. Big Neil Rule, Joy Bell, DMAC, Darren McCarty in the oh, house. We've got the chat thread going on the YouTube. Everyone's firing off those messages. Uh, you can follow us on our Twitter. Our Twitter handles are up there on the screen. If you're listening on the radio, that's cool too. 93.5, The Roar, 99.1 FN. And of course, in crystal clear HD, 94.7 HD2 as well. And it was educational too, talking about the food. Uh, DMAC, you'll appreciate this. Detroit Dabber 313 says, I did my $25 blood bet yesterday. So nice. when DMAC mm. talks, the people listen, everyone. I'm, I'm like just saying it. it. I'm just saying it. Get my in God. on that action. We're together. Get in. <laughs> Dom Rivera says, am I the only one that finds it weird that you can place a bet on blood? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Dom, this is, a new, this is a new America now. America. <laughs> Absolutely. This is America. Yeah, this this if is I the new been America. Out blood, I, you know what? I, March 26, 97, there was going to there, be there, blood. there was blood that day. But uh, we're going to get into the Lions discussion and, and some linebacker news. And ironically enough, Joyke Bell's uh, Ballin' with Bell coming up at noon. Uh, talks about stuff that's around that uh, around that area. So he will break that down. But before we did get into the Lions stuff, I, I did want to touch on this. Thursday Night Football tonight. You guys know it. We, we talked about the betting and the my bookie and everything like that. People are going to throw cash on the game because, as we said, this is the new America, everyone. If there's action, we're going to get down on it. That's just the way we're built. But with all that being said, you have Carolina at Houston tonight. Carolina, last we looked, eight-point favorite, 43, the over-under. Nothing gets me going for <laughs> Thursday night football with Davis Mills going up against Sam Darnold. And look, I know the NFL's king. I'm not pretending that it's not. I'm not watching this tonight. I'm not watching Davis Mills against Sam Darnold. I'm not doing it. He might and surprise you. I don't care. I don't care if he does. I'm not. No, NFL. This is where I draw the line. You can't just do whatever you want to me. You can't just throw anything out there, and I'm going to consume it. I'm drawing the line at Davis Mills against Sam about Darnold. about to break records tonight? NFL is about to break records with viewers tonight. Well, no, no, they're not. No, they're 14, not. Well, they got 14, one less. It was 14, 15 million last week. They're, Watch, it's going to yeah, be about 16. Yeah, there'll be 14 16. or 15 total 16. tonight. Yeah, Neil, 16. I think that what your, your, Watch what I tell your you. fandom and, you know, obviously the person, when you're breaking it down to who's playing, whatever, but it's week three of the season, you know, people don't care. 
the, the fans don't care. They want to see the ball. They want to bet. They want to see subs. So it'll be interesting to see because if there's a dud game, and and you can't really say that. I'd be I'm more interested to see Sam Darnold. You know, especially after no, one. I've seen enough of Sam Darnold. Well, you know what? This might be a little okay, but I'm just saying. I think you. I think you. I know. Even if Sam Darnold does well the, today, you're on the less end. If even if he does do well today. He's it don't matter. Texas. What I'm saying, it's He's football. There's a line. There's a game tonight. Even people want to bet. Well. You know, it's the only day. Did you He's notice that? It. And it's cool. I right. respect He's it. Hey, if you, you do I you. have a theory. What's if anybody, theory? And, it, and it just bear with me, right? The NFL runs the lottery. How do I know that? They just added the Monday drawings. So the only drawings that aren't are Thursday and Sunday when there's football games. NFL. Every other Mega Millions, Powerball. Because they added a Monday. So what I'm saying is there's only one place to drop your money tonight, and that's Thursday Night Football, other than other gambling. Well, well, but So the NFL doesn't care about Neil Rule. And no, I understand. I know, but you know what the NFL is doing to you guys? And I'm sorry. that, And but I'm not saying I'm smarter thing, than everybody else. Care. Clearly I'm not. They Clearly I'm care. not smarter than everybody else. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I'm nowhere near that. But I'm smart enough to know I'm not just going to take this product. And some of you will, and that's fine. You what is do it about you. this product you don't like? It's... These are the top athletes Davis, in the world. Davis, Mills, and Sam Darnold. One and two are the two things I don't like about it, Joy. So, so what about everything else? What about everything? Christian yeah. McCaffrey's cool, I suppose. You know, he's he's one of the best players wait, wait, in the wait, game. Wait. That's wait, fine. I'm cool. not watching the Houston Texans on Thursday he's night. He's cool, I suppose. Yeah, he's you good. You obviously don't have him in your fantasy league. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's good. He's fine. But so, so, I'm not so, watching Texans so, Panthers, so, so, Joy. So, so you don't have any fantasy? You, you have nobody... Or either team that's on. No one in America team. has any Houston Texans on their fantasy uh, team. Either team. Either team. No one in America has Houston Texans on their fantasy Jordan, team. What about, what about McCaffrey? It, there's one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, and everyone's no, got McCaffrey. Okay, on their so team, people yeah. are not watching the game to see what he does? I, I'm sure they are. And that's your choice. Here's We're the thing. in a land of Neil, choices, and you it's your choice. It. You're if you want to take this product that they force feed you, then you take it. In week three, That's you fine have with to me. take it. In week 12, you get the, you know people stand up a little more because it's a little bit more fuller in football. Right now, you're still on the appetizer page, so they don't. The NFL doesn't yeah. care, and you See, watch. I believe we look at the numbers tomorrow. Um, they're, and they're not going to be anywhere near. Be they no, won't be. They, they won't be anywhere near. I, Look, Shad, yeah. Shad two one six says, "I'll bet on it, but I'm not watching." You know what, Shad? We've Absolutely. had our differences in the past, <laughs> but damn it, I respect you. Absolutely. You're a man of valor <laughs> because you'll you'll go right on this chat thread and you'll say, "You know what? I am going to bet it, Neil." But damn it, I'm not going to watch it. So you're going to so, so yeah. put Is your money. Your play, so Neil? so you're going to put your money on something that you yeah. have no control over and that you're not even going to watch. That's that modern day new fool. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. If well, I put my money on something, I gotta watch it. That's like rolling the dice and not watching the dice. Climb or right? Isn't that like watching an invisible money? I'm like, right? Like it's the understanding of what you're betting or you understand. Are you more apt to bet the game and not watch Neil? Like you don't have a problem with betting the game. Like if you see no. the line and whatever, but your entertainment, you you are not gonna give. So you're making a stand against the NFL, right? Yeah, here. I'm not taking it. And, and anybody I know, else making a stand like Neil? Because even though it's week three, like I'm saying, and any football is good football, and they can throw this matchup at us early in the season. They can't do it in probably week eight or nine, right? Because everybody will be up. But you know what? We're ready to go. Yeah. So that's, Brent, that's, that's how I look at it. But it'll be interesting to see if you're right because the numbers are less than half of last week. Yeah, and th this game won't. I'm just. I'm sorry, it won't. And I forgot about Brandon Cooks. I know a lot of people got Brandon Cooks yeah. on their on their on their fantasy team. Uh, D from the three one three says, "Well, Davis Mills is on my bench." LMAO. Well, can I get in your league then? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no. I mean, that's that's what it is. Juice is ghost. Neil, you kind of worked up over a week three Thursday game. Oh you yeah, good? you worked up. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not taking this product. Like I'm not. They got to do better than hey, this listen, for the national you, TV Thursday night. They got to do better this than hill this. On the WWE, as far as watching, they just debuted NXT, right? Which they took away and gave it back to Vince and made it more bigger, bubbly. Well, I won't watch that, right? But that's my choice. So it's sort of like what the, what the powers that be are trying to force you. It's sort of 
I, I relate this more in, in, into what the wrestling, but it's the matchup that you're not even going to look because this is two garbage teams. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. For a Thursday night, you got to do me better as an NFL fan. Uh, you know what this is? This is the and you want to bring wrestling, and I know we have a lot of wrestling fans in there. They want your take last night oh. on a AEW. It was pretty good. I watched it with we'll my get, son. We'll get to we'll, that. We'll get to it. He can't wait. Look at it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait. He's I like can't a wait to see what Mount right Durant is. Uh, hold it back. 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 No, he, he is. He, he, he's, he's ready to go. No. Here, this is what that is, D-Mac. This is what that is. That's like having Don Morocco take on Coco Beware in a pay-per-view match. Or, or it's, King it's not, Kong no. Bundy squash him and Coco Beware in three seconds. No, that's different. That's entertaining. That's Coco. You know, that's Coco Beware getting squashed by okay. King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy was a name brand. This is this is Don Morocco yeah, and Don, Coco that's Beware. That's Don the Rock Morocco. It's, it's not. Yeah, The Come Rock. On, Don the Rock Morocco. Pre The Rock. Rocky and and, and that was before he was a tag team with the model Rick Martel. That's true. Look at that. We can go deep. Oh. Boys. We can go deep. <laughs> but yes, uh, we'll That's get to that. Said. But no, no I, I guess to your point, Neil, NFL, please do better for the fans to, 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 to watch. But L- you, you, Listen, you, listen they, even they said it on here. I'm not watching the, last, the game. The last, the last who's been fun, you can't help it. Some games is just going to be this way. No, you know. Don't give me that, Joy. You When you make the schedule and you say, hey, I'm convinced they sat there in the NFL office and said, watch, watch we're going to make them take this. And guess what? They're going to take it. We're going to have the they Houston's. Got, you, you we know Deshaun Watson's you know not going to be playing. You know, you know we they know did, he's though? not. And you know we'll put him did. against the Panthers. They, they're very smart because they know that they have to get every team into that Thursday, that Thursday night game. And so what they did was they gave us two exciting games. Then they gave us these two because week three is not late in because the season. Because we're suckers hold on, hold on, and we'll no, take no, it. No, 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 they yes, put we it in, They put it in early so we can get it out the way. But we gave you guys something before to make you happy. We're going to do this week. All right, it's not going to be as hype as the other week. Okay, we we understand, but it's not late on to the season with games that matter. I'm going to break with games down that the Thursday games because week that it seems like there's a bunch that they got to tuck in, hide in, mail in, give them their TV game, give them their shine or whatever like this. And this seems like this is where Houston's getting it. Mm-hmm. No, it, it, Mike Mike G it. says rule breaker. I'm with you, bro. I'm going to dinner at IKEA with the kiddos and I'm going to play with modular furniture. And that to me. <laughs> Uh, that's that's more appealing than going to watch Davis Mills and all oh, the the great Tom Mazaway. I love modular furniture. Yeah, the, the great about? Tom Mazaway says the NFL in? didn't know Deshaun Watson wouldn't be playing. Plus, if you're betting the game, you're watching the game. No, well, Maz, number one, we've had people confirm that are going to bet it and not watch it because why would you watch this? And number two, they knew they knew Deshaun Watson wasn't going to be playing. Everybody At the very knew. least, they knew it was a, a good possibility. Tom's a company. Tom, Tom could work for the NFL. Yeah. Well, Maz, are you, are you sure you're not going to die as boy? Well, and then, Maz, my question to you is, you know, are you going to – are you going to click out of the YouTube Yankee highlights from 2003 to watch to watch any of the game or not? Are you kidding what, what about me? The Mets? Jesus' yeah. retirement is on the loop. Leave Tom Absolutely. alone. Absolutely. Tom, Tom's a nice guy. Oh, gosh. Detroit Dabber told us next week, week four, Bengals-Jaguars, Neil, for Thursday Night oh, Football. That, what a not great, any better. What a great game. Oh man! Oh, but isn't man. It you know what? Though? I'll, I'll give you this, though. I'll give you that. I'll, you'll watch that one, though, because you want to see Trevor Lawrence. You want to see Urban Meyer. The, the, there are some storylines. There, there are no storylines with this game here tonight. None. <laughs> well, there. Wait, but if Christian McCaffrey's really good, everyone, you took him high in your fantasy league. So watch. I know you're gonna watch. All right, I'm not. I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going. I'm going to watch Cook tonight. I'm, I'm going to watch. You're, you're going to watch out of spite, well, Joey, because hey, you're turf right now. No matter what, you're I'm going to tap in. I'm going to tap. I might not watch the entire game, but I'm. A, I'm. A, you know, I'm. A, you might have to turn on the furnace. Oh, it's going to be chilly. It, it might be. You know what? Do look at the f- weather. Look at the weather outside today. You know, today is great. Is it's great crappy. layup weather. You know, you 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 lay up. You you put up. You turn on the TV. You put on a nice movie. You light a few like candles what kind and of set nice that. Like movie, like uh, uh, Friday Thirteenth or Freddy, uh, or, or or like uh, you know a what? suspense thriller. No, you know what? A nice feel good movie. A nice feel good movie. A, a, a nice comedy feel good like movie. Like Austin Powers or uh, no? I, no? I'm, th- I'm thinking Crazy Rich Asians. Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> I'm like. I like, I like Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> I, 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 I do. I like Crazy Rich Asians. I think it was a. I I I, I will look at it on my um on my guide. Oh, on my on demand, I would never watch it. 
for like a year. I would just pass out. Oh, that movie looks stupid. But I would look at it. I'm like, why does this have 90 something Rotten Tomatoes? And so one day I, I had literally watched everything. I'm like, okay, let me just turn it on Ooh, and watch that. Like, oh, this is a really good movie. It was really good. In right. the first, in the first movie, the first movie made here that was an all Asian cast. I was like, okay, that's pretty dope. And so yeah, turn on, you know, turn on the fireplace and turn on the heat and you know call Northwestern Tech and oh. make sure my heat is working. Have I told you about Northwestern Tech? Started a new career in the industry that is always essential. The heating and cooling industry. You want to learn more today, go to Northwestern Tech. That you need. I'm George Bell. That's Neil Rule. That's Darren. I'm Darren. That's Darren down there. <laughs> what was sports they told? Okay, you thirsty little spin goblins. I want you to pedal into the next dimension. Spin it. Spin. Spin. Uh-oh. Carmen's falling behind. Let's give her the hiss of shame. Don't ride the bike of shame. Come to Planet Fitness and find your own lane with tons of equipment, free fitness training, and no hissing. Join today for just ten dollars a month. Back at it here, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Neil Rule, Joy Bell, D Mac, Darren McCarty here with you. Lions Ravens on Sunday down at Ford Field. Woodward Sports will be there with our pregame live broadcast. Braylon Edwards. Ryan Armani, Maz, and Jade from WRIF will be live from the Tin Roof on Sunday. That's from 11 to 1. You can come on out, win great Woodward Sports prizes. And also this Sunday from 11 to 1, here's what you got to do. You can win a Calvin Johnson Megatron signed framed picture. This is the real deal, folks. An incredible Incredible signed Calvin Johnson framed Show photo. That picture. It's dope. Follow on Woodward Sports on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we will pick a winner from the followers. Special thanks to John Yu at the Pro Sports Zone in the Laurel Place Park Mall in Livonia for all your signed My sports guy. memorabilia. Check him out. DMAC knows him personally, has worked with him before. Uh, he, he's been out there a couple of golf outings uh, that I've helped set up. John Yu, and he does a great job at the Pro Sports Zone uh, inside Laurel Park Mall in Livonia. Hey, small, uh, small tidbit. So Darius Slay's wife, Jen, makes this jambalaya that is off the hook. And every time I go sign it at... At John's place, you know, make you make sure like I got to try it like the one time there. It's phenomenal. Mm. It's the one thing I remember. So thanks, Johnny. You yeah, Ooh. absolutely. He's a guy. So, so get on out there. It? Yeah, she she made it was their jambalaya or whatever like that. That their recipe and stuff like that. That's dope. It's it is dope. But that, that, yeah. that's cool. How yeah. so? John does a lot of stuff with all the different. I think uh, um, a lot of the college guys and everything go through there, so you, yeah. everybody knows John. He's a great guy. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to Slay. Uh, congrats on the, new, Slay. on the new edition. Congrats on the new edition, my boy. Yeah, right on. Yeah. My uh, boy. Ian Rappaport tweeted out yesterday, the Lions are exploring trade options involving linebacker Jamie Collins. Sources say they have fielded calls. Detroit is going young there, which means Collins yeah. may be on his way out if there is a match. Mm. And, again, that's Ian Rappaport. Mm. That's not some Off dude. You know, there's not some dude out there on the street talking about this. This is Ian Rappaport and Joyke. To some degree, and stay with me here on this one. I'm, I'm going to go the long way. To some degree, this makes me feel a little bit better because I'm start. I, I see the game correctly because you know I've talked about this the entire two weeks of the season yeah, yeah. so far. Yeah. They are not good enough on the edge they're not good enough at the linebacker spot they haven't been and in a I long told time you, i said get more and when you ask i said get more talent in or uh switch up our defense to put our our, our, our our players in a better position to make plays to be successful and some of the film that i watched um against the packers i mean yeah i mean they were capturing our edge uh, they were exploiting it. I mean, yeah, not captured. They were exploiting it. They were, and we're going to get into it. And, and I didn't even pull up any run. I was going to go into the passing game uh, <laughs> with our RBs uh, coming out of the backfield. But it was a, a, a few plays throughout the game that I saw that I said, uh, we need some help. <laughs> we need some help. And some things, you know, I thought we'll be able to kind of mask it or hide it. But, no, there's no way we can hide it. So, you know, when I saw in the game, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed. But I wasn't. You, 
Right, but to your point and to Neil's point about us guys who haven't played, but if we're seeing it correctly, because hasn't it been in the past where we've seen it, and not with this regime, but in past lines where we as fans think we see it the way and then the team tells us, no, you ain't seeing it right. You ain't seeing it right. Well, it seems to me we're all seeing it the same way. <laughs> and this is how you build the foundation and progress Two forward. Things now, shout out Jamie yeah. Collins and stuff like this, but obviously... Yeah. If you can't do the job and it's, you know, it's time to move on, this regime, Brad yeah. Holmes, Dan Campbell, you know, isn't it, afraid to move pieces in place. So yeah. now, what are we looking for? Is it give Derek Barnes an opportunity, which we're excited. So to me, that shows every week they're trying to get better and they're trying to get better. And sometimes mm -hmm. you got to erase that. Right. And and for me, it's exactly what you said, DMAC. And that's a, that's a great point that you brought up because... In the past, we all saw the same type of things. And as you said, we got the, the propaganda. No, it, it's fine. We're not, we're not making any moves. We're not doing anything. This, this actually makes me... And I'm not saying, oh, you got to go listen to the fans and do everything the fans say. No, I'm not saying that. I mean, Dan Campbell forgot more about football drinking his coffee this morning than, than I'll ever know in my life. I Double get that. I understand that. Eyes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I comprehend that. But with all that being said... I, I'm not blind, and, and he is kind of confirming this. I think the organization is kind of confirming this. Hey, this is a big-time weakness. And this is a dude that's on a three-year, $30 million contract that's got – and I'm not even talking about the money because that's market-based. You you only get what somebody's willing to give you. I don't I don't hate that. I'm a big players guy. Go get your money. But the fact of the matter is that this guy's a, a $13 million cap hit next year, a seven seven point three million dollar cap hit this year, but it doesn't matter. You got to move on from this guy because Joy, he's just not good enough. And I respect the fact that he's a Pro Bowler. I respect the fact that he played well at New England. But the film don't lie, as as you always tell me, Joy. Well, the well, film don't lie. That's not what I say, but uh, that's not what I the say. The eye in the sky. The eye in the sky. The eye in the sky doesn't lie. The eye in the sky, the or exactly. Joy, What's up, Joy? I got my question to you. Right, is when you were in the in the locker room, whether no matter which locker room, whether it was Detroit or anywhere else or whatever. But when you see things go on around in the organization because you know as a player if a guy can cut it or not or if he's long in the tooth and he's there because of this yeah. or that but when you see an organization that that is making these tough decisions because even it's not about what the cap money is or anything like that it's about football have you seen that before does that give you as a player more motivation to say hey if i do my job and i'm the best at it then these guys are looking for like this is a blessing to sh for a player in the locker I said, room. I, no, I, I, see, I see what you're saying. I, I know exactly what you're saying. And that, you know, this is a numbers game, all right? And so if they if they pay you, they have to play you. And so if they want to trade this guy, you see that you see they, they didn't cut him. No. If they didn't have if he was only getting paid say a million dollars this year or, or less than that or minimum, he just would have got cut, all right? But you can't cut it. You can't just cut a guy and lose that revenue. So you got to figure out. You have to shop him around and do what's best for the team. Now, there's been times where I were I was on teams and I was playing behind guys. I felt that I can contribute more than right, and I didn't. They they didn't allow mm -hmm. me to. And and when I felt I wasn't being appreciated in a certain location, I would just you know you know make my argument to go to another team, you know, and they'll try to argue to keep me there and. You know, they'll try to, you know, you know, it's going to be you and such and such next year. We just, you know, we have to play them because da, da, da. I'm like, okay, well, you do what you have to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. Okay. But every team doesn't operate the way that the Detroit Lions is operating right now. Right. Every I team. like, right. And so if I was to see that in my locker room, then yes, that would make me, that, that would make me excited. Okay. All right. I, it would make me excited because, I'm, okay, I remember Shannon Sharp spoke at um, my Harlan Hill ceremony mm -hmm. and he told me that, well, he's, in his speech, he said that um, regardless of where you played in college, once you get on that football field, none of that matters anymore. Amen. If you can play football, you can play football. It doesn't matter if you went to Alabama. It doesn't matter if you went to LSU. It doesn't matter if you went to USC. It doesn't matter what school you went to. Once you step on that field, that contract can't save you out there. Right? Mm. right it's all football. If you can play, you can play. If you can't, you can't. And that's it. And... Um, Coming out of his mouth, I was a young bull, kind of finding my way through, and that and that inspired me. Uh, I remember him saying, "I remember him saying that no matter the amount of work a coach would make him do, it wasn't worse than where he came from, and he was willing to do whatever to to kind of not go back to where he came from." So, 
We have, a, we have this adage, and you and you and I, it just clicks something because we're the same way. Yeah. We'll, 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 hey, whatever you keep talking, whatever it is, we'll find out when we get in the pool. You get in the, when you get in the pool, we're on which the pool we call the ice, right? There's because no lies in, told. When you jump in the water, there's no right? lies told. There's mm -hmm. no, it's all deep end. Fly. So you yeah. better learn to swim, and yeah. you know, you, you, and you get that like the image, the shade, this guy coming from here, and then you get out on the on the ice, and you might have had to grind yourself to get there, and he's a first rounder. It doesn't matter, and you go, man, we just the same game as when we were five, just a little bigger, a little stronger, and. I'm still crazy, so let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go. go. It's fun, you know. And when we're supposed to, let's go. <laughs> and then, and then you learn. And, and the yep. thing, when, once you get there, and then you have these guys, it's, it's good to have them in the locker room, absolutely, right? Because you can learn. You can learn a lot. I mean, he's a pro bowler, so you can learn some things from. He's gonna know some tricks and trades that you know he's gonna give to the younger guys to make them better as well. Because it's it's about the big team, little me. And so, the big so the big yeah. thing too is what the, when, and it's the same thing as what I look for now in in people it's do you are do you have that motor can, can i just point you somewhere but are you going to go do the work because i'm not going to do the work for you so that's the one thing and when veteran guys see that you're raw but see that they have something to work with they gravitate towards you and want to share that knowledge because it's like you said it's the the little i big we right so it's like it, it makes sense so it doesn't matter what sport when at the end of the day you got to play the game. And there is a bit of breaking news since we went on the air as Ooh. far as that goes. Dan Campbell spoke on it today. Said Jamie Collins will stay home while they look for a trade partner out of respect for Jamie Collins. And again, you know, don't get this twisted. I respect his resume and I respect what he's done on the football field. And there was a time that he was a, a good player, an elite player, a Pro Bowl player. But that time has not been this season. And the Lions are telling you as such. But this is not. Does this not tell you that maybe that Derek Barnes is ahead of schedule or whoever they're going to throw in there? Yeah, you know, and, and I keep and, and that's the one thing where I, that's been the buzz name hey, around boys. town, right? You know, D Derek Who Barnes has been contract? the buzz. Word. Who signed this contract? Right. This is, the Dan Campbell said, "Look, Barnes has been on our mind because he showed in preseason he will run and hit." And I, 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 I'm worried about him a little bit because he's become like this. Messiah almost for, for the Lions fans. When I listen to him talk uh, around town, the fans are like, well, he's got speed, and I can't wait to see him out there. And I, I think there's a lot being made of a guy that, you know, didn't wasn't active the first two weeks. So yeah, but are you not? You're not. Aren't you looking for just something different? We're looking to build, like you said. You're getting rid of a college so Barnes. So it ain't about if he's missing the contact or anything. It's about him out there making hits and wanting to see what they have. You know what I mean? It's no, and I get that. I I want that. moving forward, but. Uh, I don't know. I think he's got a lot more time. Jamie Collins' time was up, and then now you can see what you have with this kid. I, to me, it just tells me that he's further along. But it doesn't matter what he has to do. If he's in there, Neil, and he gets to the quarterback, he can't use the coast machete. Uh, it wouldn't be allowed in the game. This is more for the death match next <laughs> yeah. Friday. But uh, it's, it's, it's not the last. But, it's not the last boy scout up there. Is it not? Say, is it not? Through. Slice through those linemen. Get to the quarterback, Mr. Barnes, just like the Coast Machete. Yes, coastportland.com since 1919. Go right now, WSN 20, 20% off for the lamps, for the knives, the machetes, anything like that. And tomorrow's Friday. You know what that means, DMAC giveaway. Hashtag how we coast anywhere you coast on Woodward Sports Network. I will be giving away a $100 gift ticket so you too could get a machete. Like me, for outdoor, indoor, whatever else. So uh, go to CoachPortland.com, WSN20. Tell them, Big D Energy sent you. We'll be right back with Bruce Sports Network. Fellas, football season is here. It's time to make your grooming experience easy like Sunday morning. Get to Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men. Walk in, relax, watch your favorite team play, and before you know it, your hair will be game ready. Get to Lady Jane's, open 10 to 8, 7 days a week. Walk in anytime. It's wicked awesome. Do you know why realtors love using Hall Financial as a lender? Because of our commitment to speed and service. We have nearly 4,000 five-star reviews already. Call today, 248-308-5000. Go to callhallfirst.com. 
to it might be the only back at it here big d energy woodward sports got. network on our youtube channel also across social media platforms and on the radio as well 93.5 the roar 99.1 fm and of course 94.7 wcsx hd2 neil rule joy bell d mac darren mccarty in the house woodward sports bringing you the very best in high school football coverage the friday night clash Ooh, every know. friday we do it one of the best games in metro detroit on our facebook youtube and Twitter outlets this week's matchup, Belleville against Dearborn Forts, and that'll be at 9 o'clock. And uh, again, some of the best matchups in all of Metro Detroit High School football right here on the Woodward Sports Network. But, uh, you know, we, we did. We were talking about the Jamie Collins situation, so it sounds like he's away from the team now, so that's a wrap. And... I, I will give the line and, and Joy, I think you would give the Lions credit in this scenario too, just based on the fact, like, hey, if he's around the building, you you know how that's going to be. That's going to be a, a little bit of a media circus and stuff like that. I, I think I think the Lions are doing it correctly. At least Dan Campbell and the crew are doing it correctly in that they're not going to make a circus out of Jamie Collins. What they're going to do is they probably brought him into the office, brought him to the GM room. Um, sat down with the coach, the head coach, sat down with the GM, and they probably had a conversation. Yeah. You know, and that's, and that's the way to go about it. Absolutely. And let, and let them know, and, and you see how you let them know, like, listen, this is the move we're going to make, but we respect you, and we want to make sure we do this the right way. And um, you can only respect it, um, you know, rather than hearing about it. And I think um, that's probably why we haven't heard too much from him in the social media, him just, you know, okay, well, we, yeah. we had this conversation. He is one of their captains, yeah. right? He is well respected. He is 30, 30 some years old. Like he's he's a little bit longer in the tooth. He's more of a, in between a player and a yeah. coach, anyways. So it's to me, it's about like you said, when you don't hear things when it's playing out the way that the organizations want, means there's respect there between the player and whatever. And like you said, I I hope everything and I I believe with this regime is something that they would do and let them know just like with. Mulebach and and let him know that it was time to go. These are some of the tough decisions that have to make. This isn't really the tough one, but just because of the money. But it lets you know that they're committed to make this team better because it doesn't matter that it is thirty million on the books or twenty million on the books. There's money on the books, and this is it. This is not uh, a, fortuitous, a fortuitous situation for the Lions, but they're trying to make the best out of it, and hopefully something, some young guy in the works comes up you know I, I was reading what mike g said about the game tomorrow night that that belleville defense has better linebackers than the lions well maybe we'll be out there scouting them who knows so uh it's just one of these tough as a guy who had played on a team that had a lot of you know older veteran guys or whatever but when it was time when it was time to go it was done with respect and i think that to joint's point that's what this regime is uh, is doing yeah, I, I would I would agree with that. Um, Angela says Collins is done in Detroit, not a good player anymore. Father Time caught up with him. Uh, Bobby oh, Brodeur right. says Lions going full Mel Tucker uh, with the organization right now. Don Rivera, they still putting on Calvin ceremony this weekend. Last Ooh. I checked, they were. Uh, Calvin's <laughs> supposed to be in the building. That was the last. <laughs> I, but who knows? I gotta you know? call him. I'm gonna call him. <laughs> I gotta call him and ask him. Yeah, just tell, yeah, just well, bumble that text. You, hey, yeah, we're doing the show right hey, now. Yeah. Out of curiosity, <laughs> you fin you finna be there Sunday I'm still? A, I'm off the text for right now. All right, yeah, just say, hey, Cal, you 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 finna be in the building? Just say still? hey, we, we we're coming down on Sunday. You gonna be there? <laughs> you ain't there. Yeah, so you know that that's just one of those things where I'm keeping an eye on that because I like that they are making that move. And look, again, if I I'm of the opinion if Derek Barnes was that good he would have been out there starting already, yeah. right? I mean, just temper your expectations here. And also temper your expectations. You're not getting a third-round pick for the guy. You're not getting a fifth-round pick for the guy. You're, you're going to get a seventh-round pick tops. All you're doing right now is shuffling the contract. That's it, Joy. Like, you just shuffle it. If you can get out of as much of the contract as you can, that's the goal. It doesn't matter what you get back, right? It is the goal. And that's probably why you want to you know, sit down and communicate with them. But he's going to make sure you get his money, though. Uh, trust me. He's yeah. going to make sure he gets that. And Khalil says uh, Barnes will have his ups and downs for sure, but I think he will give more effort. And that was the thing, I think, that really rubbed the Lions fans the wrong way. And some of those plays. This, this is the thing, though. I don't. When I played, if they knew they were going to make this decision, they probably should have made this decision <laughs> during the preseason. 
All right. Because what happens is once they are on the roster for that first game, that contract for that year is guaranteed for the whole year, depending on how the contract is, is drawn now. And usually for veterans, you and he's a vet, full, so and, and for a veteran, you get your full contract. <clears throat> and I think for uh, anyone that's not a vet, I think it's a split. So you get half of whatever your contract is at that time. So if they were going to do it, they should have did it then because it would have saved us some cap space. All right. But to do it the third weekend, and we didn't get much out of them. But it just goes to show you cutting cutting ties, and if there's it's gonna be more, ties. more it, guys to this, but if you get a six or seven, it makes sense round, though. It makes sense. It makes sense for the standpoint it is. I would, as far as the money standpoint, it doesn't make sense to me because I would have cut them during the preseason, um, business wise, right? And then for them to do it the third weekend, <clears> and listen, we don't see you being you know part of the future lines, so we rather just cut ties now. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say they're going to bomb this year, but, you know, the worse they do, the better off because we get a higher draft pick. We know oh, this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. The old yeah. Neil Rule theory is coming yeah. into play yeah. more and, so, and more by the week, yeah. isn't and it? So, and so they're saying, like, so they, they don't care about this season. They, as far as win, loss, record. I thought record. we were on a 30, what is it, 36 game program. Yeah. We're so they don't care. 30, so, so. 30, 34, right? Oh, 17. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, see, I'm we got 32 for those playoffs. Zero, 32, 34. 32 more to go. No, yeah. but I mean that's that's what it is, though. So you close the book on that and you move on, and that just goes to show you, two guys, the depth of the cleanup that's required. They, they, <laughs> they've only scraped the surface. <laughs> hey, uh, Art, you know that hemp cures, you know, nuclear waste like over in Chernobyl and stuff. Maybe I should plant some down over at Ford Field. It's deeper than it goes, but Neil, but doesn't it we've seen this and Joyce played in it and seen it over and over but to me, I'm looking for things that are done a little bit differently and to me, out of the last, whether we're talking the Quinn, the Millen regimes, the Mayhew, whatever, this seems to be a little bit different. Not the right, but See, here's the thing. It does. In, the in the past, they make the same mistake twice. They don't cut the guy before camp. They do all these things that that hurts them. What they're doing now is are they trying to clean it up and say, okay, we messed up this time. Let's make sure we don't do the call-in situation next time. Like, to me, it seems like there's progress there, and they're trying. And they're being transparent, and they're trying. So I give them all that time because we do see things we're going to see you're going to break down you know top of the hour uh in a ball with bell uh different things that you've pointed out that we can see defensively offensively whatever it is but it's things that i look neil and i feel like oh wow i've left the train station before I felt like I was always standing there watching the TV like this, but now I'm looking and going, the scenery's a little different. Oh, I can still see the train station back there, but we're moving. We're moving this Lions organization. We're doing some things. They're, do, they're doing something. Are we something. going in the right direction, though? Yeah, because we're going, right, slowly but surely, but because when you tell me, Joy, that, okay, they made the mistake by not doing this, but they didn't compound it by making the same mistake. They said, we're going to cut our losses, and hopefully in the future, when this happens with another guy, they what learn that earlier. From? So I see things that I haven't seen before that you need in successful organizations. To Neil's point, this thing is dirty. This thing is deep. It's like one of those gas stations that you got to you know, re-energize and bring it back. So... The Lions are showing us that, you know what, it's deeper than maybe we thought, but we're going to get there and we're going to work and get out of this. And, and, and they're saying all the right things, too. I mean, Dan Campbell, when he comes out and he speaks on it, you can tell that he knows it, but you're not just going to go out there and set fire to everybody if, if right. you're Dan Campbell. You're not, you're not going to you do can. that, man. You can't. Yeah, you can't. No. You can't do that. Call no. as you can. Mal Tucker can do that. Jim I'm, I'm going to tell you who that. can do that, though. What's that? It comes from the top of the food chain. Yes. And... Yes. I want uh, you kind of alluded to it earlier where you said that they're not afraid of starting over, all right, clearing house and starting over and, and, and starting to build uh, that strong foundation. But the right way. The, We've the, seen them try right. to clean it out before, and it's just cleaning it out to build the same garbage. Yeah, but where do they get that mentality from? It starts usually, it starts from the top of the food chain and works its way down. And when I say top of the food chain, I'm talking about Miss Sheila Forham. When, yeah. when we sat down, we talked um, at the coach's lunch, and she said that 
You know what, Joy? Listen, if you have any ideas, I'm 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 all here for it. You, you have an open door, come in, let's talk about it. We don't have an issue with you know if this doesn't work, at least we try something new. I'm not I'm not afraid to go in here and blow the whole thing up and start over from scratch again. But we have to get this right. And the only reason that I agreed to be to come on and be the head chairman is because. Um, was if I was able to get my fingers and dig deep into the skin uh, and or, or into the meat of this team and do it the way that I wanted to do. And so when I look up, when I see um, her sitting down in these meetings with the coaches, uh, while they go through the process of evaluating players, uh, what's the process, what are you guys looking for, uh, what's the formula, uh, because honestly, there's really no formula to what we're doing here. There's no formula. All right, when you're dealing with people, it's too many – it, it, it's too many variables that goes into it. And so you just have to look at the background of these players, uh, kind of get a feel for them. And when I say look into the background, not just looking to see their criminal record, like going to you know their colleges and, and talking to people who might work at the school, who know these kids who's coming here. Uh, what type of kid is he? Does he treat you with respect? And you know, they say, yeah, you know, he's a quiet kid or he's respectful because these are the guys you want to have building your team. And these are the type of guys that's going to help lead us into where we need to go in the future. Bam. Bam. <laughs> there there it was. God I made think me hungry. You know, you guys are talking about all the changes and everything, and I know that I can change Neil's day with just one sound. That's all that he wants to hear. Oh, That's I know. all that he wants to I hear. Got, I gotta get that downloaded on the phone. You do. Yeah, how to, you so, do. How can we the second that? overall pick <laughs> in the Detroit Lions select? The big D energy select. Number two. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'd select with my first overall pick in the first round. Because it's getting to be lunchtime. Lunch the pick time. is in. It's Papa Romano's oh, Pizza, oh, everyone. One, Papa too. Romano's handcraft pizzas that have made them a Detroit favorite for over 50 years. House-made dough, hand-cut veggies, and fresh cheese make the difference. The same quality goes into all their pizzas. The salads, the subs, the pitas. Order it now. Do yourself a favor. Look at that pizza. For those of you watching on YouTube, look at that pizza with the sausage and the pepperoni. With all... All those quality ingredients in there. Go to PapaRomanosPizza.com. Pull up on PapaRomanosPizza.com. Welcome to the Call Sam Chopper Shop, where you can win a custom-built chopper while helping our veterans at the same time. Watch as the Bad Pig Custom Team turns this bike into a one-of-a-kind classic chopper. And when it's finished, we'll be donating the bike to Volunteers of America Michigan to raffle off in support of our vets. A great cause to give back to those who've given so much. Watch for Call Sam Chopper Shop episodes on our social media channels and get your raffle ticket today at callsam.com backslash chopper shop. Flying through another episode of Big D Energy on the Woodward Sports Network. Joy Bell, former Lions great, DMAC, Darren McCarty. And of course, my name is Neil Rule. Happy to have you all with us. Fish in the Bowl, the child of Flint, Arturo in the production booth. Uh, Joyce reaching out to Calvin just to make sure that he's showing up. Uh, on Sunday for his uh, retirement, number retirement, or not the number retirement, the honoring of the, the Hall of Fame. That number, obviously, it's got to be retired, right, at some point? No. We're not going to retire his number. What? You want to retire Calvin Johnson's number? Yeah. Yeah, you got to retire. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you got to retire. You got to retire. You got to retire his number to the point where you retire the 81, the 8, the 1, anything, you know, all of them. You got to retire all of them. And yeah. I, I, God, I... You know, everyone through the chat thread, DMAC, and you know we have a lot of hockey fans that, are, that watch the show as well, obviously, uh, with, with you being involved. I can't wait to get into that Sergey 91, retire 91. Absolutely. I can't wait. It's coming, though, folks. We're getting there. Uh, hockey's right around the corner. I'm seeing the commercials on ESPN. I got pace, Neil. I mean, I can't. He's too excited. Or, you know, when he gets more excited on a Thursday night game, we'll get closer to it. Hockey season comes around. Well, it'll, I'll have an option. I won't have to watch Texans and Panthers, uh, Davis Mills Davis and, and Mills. Sam right. Darnold. You know, they, they, so listen, this is what they did. They got, they gave us two good Thursday night games, and they gave us this one to kind of get it out the way, so we can. You know, <laughs> they move stuff on. them in. There's stuffing games. Nothing against There's, the players at all, no, but this is what this is this is what they were thinking. I, I'll, be I, look, I know. In. I'll be tuning in though. I'll be tuning in. Well, good I like for you know. I won't be. So you know, good for you, Joy. I just don't like your like Joy... attitude, Neil. Neil I Joy, just, I don't it's like fine. Your Do you, man? Right, you, you, I think you, you sound like R two point right now. No, I'm not. Just Joy, negative. This is America, Jack. And if you want to watch a football game, the damn it, Joy, you watch the football game. I'm not. I'm not taking that product. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up, Fish? I know what you'll be watching, Neil. You'll be watching Appalachian State versus Marshall tonight. I, I mean, I'll pull up on that. There's no question I will be. 
There's no question see, I will be. Speaking of that, did you see who's coming into uh, Kalamazoo this week? San Jose State. I, I'm, I'm I gotta, tempted. I got to think, after last week when we're talking about Neil's unfortunate get right spread, but it wasn't when you break down the why, it, the, everything was there as far as your preparation. It's Absolutely. like being a coach, you can give them the game plan and all the plays and everything, and if they don't execute, I'm sorry about that. But I think I have a really good feeling on the bounce back. And they're they're um, the line scares me. I'm not gonna. My, I'm not what, gonna that lie. They're plus three. Yeah, they're a, they're a three yeah, point dog. That a... just that scream and take San Jose State. And you got to remember too, last week they were in Hawaii. Now they're coming to Kalamazoo. I mean, it's like that's yeah, rough. So it's an upgrade. <laughs> Hawaii to Kalamazoo. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah. it is. It, it's it's rough travel. I, I think I'm shying away. I oh, am okay. actually because I'm not gonna be in tomorrow. So I, I'll leave you guys with my get right pick of I, the I week will need it. Can tonight. I have it in an envelope yes. that I yeah, can absolutely. Do, do, I can yeah. fish to play the music. Yeah, play, do, play, do, play, do. play, and then after he plays it, he opens it up. Yeah, and then boom. We'll do it. We'll make a production tomorrow. Should, should you, okay, I'll do that, man. Yeah. I'll do that. All right, yep. I'll I'll do that for you guys. I'll, I'll give it to Where you. Where are you going tomorrow? You got. Yeah. The, I got the DMAC treatment too. I got the golf outing tomorrow. Got the golf. Yeah, I'm out tomorrow too. That sucks. It's all good. I got it. I'll hold it down, boys. You guys better down not the be fort. going to the Ryder Cup. I got it down. I hold it down. Hold down the fort. We got the uh, we got our Lions uh, and, uh, okay. honoree right. from right. the military honoree yeah, coming on. Yeah, got Caperon from the DCFC Friday. Uh, yeah. We're gonna sing some songs. Um, what about a uh, D Mac and the King of Flinttown show together? Since the you know I could I could sit up there. What do you think? D-Mac I would love that. What chair you don't sit in? Because you definitely are, not sit in my chair. Why would you bring that up in front of these guys when they could actually kibosh that for you? So you really don't want to do it because that's sort of like asking in front of the parent. You know, is going to say no. Yeah. And and. Right, I just figured I'd give it a go. You know, no, but if you India. say that tomorrow, I mean, why don't we do that? We can make it wrestling, music, MMA stuff. since UFC cool. two sixty six. We gotta get into the as I said, well, we should talk about we that. Should. We should talk. Maybe, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure. We, it out. We I mean, will. just like anything else, Art. What ten fifty nine? We'll figure it out. Yeah, right, yeah, cool. yeah. Actually, eleven oh one. Eleven oh one. Eleven oh one. Right on. You must have started the music late. Yeah. Khalil are saying people are saying we should trade flowers now. I think he will do a lot better this year in this scheme, and the stock will rise. I say give him more time, let a stock rise, and get more for him. Uh, you can't trade Trey Flowers right now. He's thirty two point eight million dollar cap hit this year. Thirteen million dollar cap hit the following year. Or excuse me. 22, $23.2 million yeah, cap hit tongue. next year. Bite your tongue, man. Come on. And then million, a $23 man. million dollar cap hit the font. You ain't trading Trey Flowers. You're not. That, again, these are the things that I'm glad to see come to light, though, because it gives you an idea of the depth of the situation. This, this is going to take a while, folks. It is. And until you become honest with yourself, which I think the Lions regime is now. And to DMAC's point, that's what Football gives everybody... Minds. Yeah, that's what gives everybody. That's what gives me hope. I think that's what gives DMAC hope. I'm in lockstep with you about that. Yeah. We're seeing, we're seeing them rip off the bandaid now, and, not and you got to do it. And then when we hear from the chairman himself, right, of of the culture or trying that cares, and if you know Mr. Bell at all, is that you know he thoughtful th- and think through it and get his hands in the meat of it. So. There's things that people care. There's a capacity to care, a capacity to change, to get this thing right. And, you know, we're seeing it in all the, all the different organizations, our professional teams. Because when somebody brought up in the chat yesterday, it's been 2008 since a uh, Big Four championship with a Big Four city team. Well, it's, t- it's too long, but it's trying to get everything going right. But if you ask me, Neil, I look down at all man we're moving everybody's so, off the something's track. happening everybody is moving forward for christ's sake something's happening yeah now. i mean come on and even yeah. even in ann arbor and even in in lansing even so, if they're wrong dmac even if they're wrong even yes, if these guys yes. are wrong we're i'm moving. more i'm more cool with that yes. than i was with the last you know 15 years i for got real. sick and tired of walking at least i'm on a you know uh, a moped or a bike or something right now i mean it's a little bit easier yeah it's still tough pedaling to get down to you know 
bike into Flint ain't easy, but we'll get it done. Yeah. Could have been done. on the Lions limo, but you guys decided not to. Well, you so. burned Pe- out. Oh, by the way, our, on the YouTube chat <laughs> thread, pe- people want some mock-ups because this is getting real. Okay, yeah. I will have. Ugh. I will get a hold of the artist. Uh, we just want a couple of mock-ups. I'll give you just some, to, just to, I know, but I get to choose, right? right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, it's up to you, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that's it. No, that I would. I would be never it. bet a tattoo on a Lions winning ten games. I think that at least I get to pick. So I'll reach out to him. there. Breaking news. Oh boy! Breaking news! Oh you boy. heard it here first. Oh give me, give me the. Uh, we got the NFL draft. Oh, uh, get the NFL draft. Yeah, first. come on, come on. Drake Bell reporting live for Wolver Sports. This is just in. Calvin Johnson will be there this weekend. Ooh. All right. Dom Rivera, there you go. It's confirmed. It's Calvin confirmed. Johnson will be in the building. It's All right, news. See you there. <laughs> you see so that? there you yeah. have it. Make sure you tap yeah. in. That's Exclusive sort here. Of the initial draft. Of the, uh, <laughs> you got to put that on your Twitter right now. <laughs> yeah, I got to put that on my Twitter. Uh, no, please, God, no. I'm on uh, uh, my phone with the thing. Uh, DMAC, show the, show the audience what does it look like. Let me, let me, let's see what we got well, here. Well, this is the initial. All right, he's going to zoom in. This is okay. the initial here, design. Here, right there. Okay, that. <laughs> it's a little stick man okay. uh, in a car it? that's on fire. Yep. Okay, that's a terrible. Okay, no, a that's the initial design. That, that's the early it's a, rough, right it's a rough draft. Hey, if you hey, watch your mouth, or I will tattoo this on. What do you mean? Yeah, it's my body, my choice. Isn't that America? Not How anymore. Not when you make a stupid, stupid <laughs> bet like that, or in the confines of Woodward Sport, we got the boss know. Jerry Jones I'm... is sitting right there. I'll give you play to win the game. I got the brain in the house, dude. You had no chance. Do we have an agreement though that someone is paying for it? Didn't Dmac? You said that you're paying for it, or can we get it out of the Woodward Sports? Bro, if I'm jar? paying for it, I'm going to give the guy a grand, and it's going to make it the biggest thing <laughs> you'll ever see in your life. This was yes, so I think that the compensation, you know what? I'm going to put together a pop bottle drive for you or okay. something, but we'll get it done. Okay. Sounds I'll good. I'll tell the guy, make it the best $9.99 tattoo you can make it. <laughs> <laughs> money's yeah. no object as oh, long as it's not more than nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Hey, hey, money is too, object. To pay, I can't write it off. Money. Then. Uh, he did say that he would do it in studio too, so that's officially Even confirmed. Better. So we can sit it on the chair and you guys can all laugh at my stupidity. So yeah. you play to win the game. game. I do it every day. I yeah, wish it keeps bringing me back in. I think we need two cameras. You need a camera on the guy doing a tattoo, and then a, uh, a camera oh, yeah. on our face the entire time. We're gonna need five camera production. Catch every angle <laughs> of pain. That is. That's gonna be a great show. Yeah. Um, want to touch on every this real quick? Every angle of pain. Every angle. Oh, of pain. Arturo from Flint's angle of pain. Yeah. Oh. Wow. They could, they could be the a segment. The art of pain. When you do your fight segment, when you're breaking down fights, yeah. every angle of pain, that's what it should the be. The art of pain, we're going to hit. Ah! I need, I need to go do that trademark. Are you screaming tattoos, I think uh, I did that trademark. No, the leg one, the leg one wasn't fun, but it was because he was he was really you couldn't hear the motor on it. That's how deep he was getting in. So you know, but it's, that's how deep he was no, getting I'm in. No, I'm talking about your tattoo, bro. Don't. Did, did, I, I don't no, care. No, I'm about talking about the tattoo. tattoo. The noise was like almost. Me- okay, stop, Joy Cure. Let's go. No, stop, stop. Hey, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Did want to touch on this. Uh, Michael Hara put out a tweet. Uh, former Detroit Lions offensive tackle Lomas Brown is a Pro Football Hall of Fame nominee. The big strong case for him. Seven straight Pro, pro Bowls. He was an all-pro 17 consecutive seasons as a full-time starter 251 career starts and won the Super Bowl his last season as well and you know Joyke, we talked about this a little bit before but I want to see him get in just like I would like to see Kevin Glover you know get in there from the Detroit Lions people always said Barry Sanders and and look make no mistake to me he's the greatest football player of all time Barry Sanders is I mean have a slouch though he didn't have a slouch on line. No, like people always said that. They're like, oh, imagine if uh, imagine if he had the Cowboys offensive line. He had Maybe. two borderline Hall of Famers blocking for him, too. I, 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 I would say this. Our line couldn't compare to the Cowboys line, but we had a pretty good on line. We had a pretty decent on line. A, a very good offensive yeah, line. Yeah, if you throw in decent. you know, Eric Andelsack, obviously, who the, the tragedy happened to him where he was killed in that, in that car accident, and then with what happened with Mike Utley, Mike Utley was a powerhouse in the offensive. They, yeah. they could have had a historically great Reggie offensive Brown. line. Line. Different talk about linebackers, but um, uh, the one thing with Lo- the, that really stands out when it comes to Lomas and stuff 17 consecutive years as a starter on the offensive line. I mean, that's the uh, that's that's monster stuff, isn't it? You know, especially in the pits and, and things like that, the Pro Bowls. And, and so, I, I he's, a, he's a friend of mine, so I, I love the guy. So, I hope that he gets his justice, too. But Kevin Glover's a great uh, 
you know, when it comes to line and we're talking about a cohesive unit, a lot of times you like to see some of those guys get in together. So <clears throat> that's yeah. and I would I would love to see Lomas Brown get in there just because just because of how great he was. Maybe uh, somebody says they were, maybe a little Uzi Vert jewel inserted in the limo. The twenty four million oh, dollar the twenty four carat. Yeah, the twenty four. Oh. Did you hear what happened when uh, yeah, uh, he, man, someone was trying to take it off of it? It's a diamond, like twenty four million dollars indented into his skull. And while little Uzi Vert was performing, they tried ripping it out of his skull. I mean, you it's can, twenty four million thing, dollars. And it has been. And so if they were to rip it out. It could kill him. It could kill him. Yeah. They, they don't care. <laughs> oh, that's 24, 24 million. million. But, exactly. but, but I don't think it's the diamond that rips out that kills him. I think it's the plate that's inserted yeah. into his yeah. into his skull that if they rip that out. The plate yeah, no, no. that's inserted I mean, into sure his that, skull. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He said, so a lot of people Bro. say that. So I he mean, I don't said, know. That's something that our guy the, Braylon might do. The, the plate that's inserted into his skull. The, listen to you people talk right now, mm-hmm. D-Mac. Listen to this. I got plates ridiculous. in my skull, but that's right, just but, but, <laughs> job hazard. Yeah, yeah, you didn't voluntarily say, hey, well, put yeah, this I diamond did. in my head yeah, and let's put the plate no, in my skull. No, they didn't ask me. Why? I could have got a diamond in my head? If you're lucky. <laughs> Only if you ask nicely. I want now. I mean, back in the dizzle. <laughs> yeah. Imagine diamond. Boom. Hey, uh, Joy, people are getting greedy on the YouTube chat. Thread. You you answered the bell. You texted Calvin. He said yes. I'm going to be in the building. People yeah. want to know are they going to pay Calvin that 1.6 million? Oh, that's hey, hey, hey. Did, you did, you hear, did you hear what I said? Did you not hear what I said? I I literally said you said money is no issue as long as it's not more than 9.99. I said they got to pay my man this money. <laughs> oh said, yeah, okay, yeah, right. yeah. I said they have to pay my man this money. So I asked him, you know, you, you guys working it out, and you know he hasn't texted back yet. But, you know, <laughs> I said, I, you know, but how classy would it be? Hey, you know, it, 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 with a check for Calvin at the would they, would they give him Oh, a big now, one now they do a, if they do it right then and right there, and they give him like that's classy. That's and a I, whole. That's, that's let me let me call let me call the Lions PR team right now. No, and, like if and, you want to make alumni, the greatest PR of whatever it is, like a Happy drop Gilmore that thing Listen, right there. That'd be great. And a whole Miss Sheila hugging Calvin and say okay, because we he can start from here in front of it's everybody no, on TV. There it, it is. This is what it is. This I is great PR. PR. Give my man his money. Do I know you guys want to honor him. He brought so much pride to the city, to the team, to the state. Do it in front of his people. In a and, full and stadium, front, like, like you know, you guys, to... you guys have made this guy suffer for years. It's nothing better than bring it back and hey, say, "Listen, look, it's all love." Look at it this way, Joyke. MGM just gave a dude ten percent of that on a bet they didn't have to pay. Think about that. Different levels to it, isn't that right? There's so many different levels. You know what? And if you do not have the app, please get the app. Levels at Centerline is now open starting right now. Get 10% off your order by just mentioning Woodward Sports, whether you're in store or on the app. Make sure you mention Woodward Sports to get your 10% off. T Grizzly Gas, my favorite jet fuel gelato, or even their McCarty brand. Yeah, right here. It's in there. The Max 69, which is one of my favorites. That's why it's there. Special straight edible sales on sale now. Download the Enjoy Levels app today and start saving. We are Big D. Energy will be right back. We're Sports Network. I'm looking to bring on another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Okay, you thirsty little spin goblins. I want you to pedal into the next dimension. Spin it. Spin. Spin. Uh-oh. Carmen's falling behind. Let's give her the hiss of shame. Spin. Spin. Spin till you bleed. Don't ride the bike of shame. Come to Planet Fitness and find your own lane with tons of equipment, free fitness training, and no hissing. Join today for just $10 a month. Back at it here, Big D Energy Woodward Sports Network. It's time for Ballin' with Bell. That's right. I'm Drake Bell. It's our this second. Is not Drake Bell. <laughs> That's it. That's my I'm guy. Drake Bell. We talk about these. These are the same right here, bro. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> wow! You've been bought. You, those those are the same, throw bro. Rock up up today? Up. Yeah. What Look at got? the rule. There we go. They're they're in there. Right there. Go there we go. Sleep Ooh. on the rule. What do we got? What do we got? Where are we at? Don't charge bro. the press box. I'm like, give me a call. 
<laughs> no, but Joyke, it is that time, man. This is my favorite segment in all of Detroit media, and of course, I'll uh, I'll be narrating to take you through if you're listening on the radio side. But essentially, yeah. this is where Joyke Bell breaks it down for you from a player's perspective. We got a couple of plays from the Lions Packers yeah. Monday night game. The first one here is. It's the edge, Joyke. The uh, the Aaron Rodgers pass completion that got down to about the one yard line. Yeah. Uh, this was right before halftime. Yeah, right. So it's, it's two plays. I want to back to back how um, the Packers was were able to capture uh, capture our edge once again. Um, but we're doing a pass play here right now. They're in cover two. Uh, we're in um, eleven personnel. They're in nickel. Um, they're in the nickel um, defense right now. They're four two nickel. Um, play it for me one time. Let's let's run through it one time. Let's just take a look at it. They send the running back in motion. Um, and then I don't know why it's here. So I was going to go back. Let's go back to it. Uh. <laughs> Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Here we go. So Roger swings it out. You know, and, and this is a and this is a great play um, to run because you have three receivers um, on the three DBs. They're blocking on one, on one by one. So go back to the beginning of that play for me, please. So if you look right here. You have you have your three receivers, you have your one tight end, and you have for for these three defenders. You're gonna be one on one with this safety right here. In this game, in this game, they want you they they're gonna trust their running back to win that matchup nine out of ten times. Anytime you have one on one in open field with your running back and your safety, you're gonna bet on your on your running back nine out of ten times. Let's fast forward. Now this this play it in slow motion for me. They see them in slow motion. It's a it's a slight adjustment on the defensive side. You have three blockers right here. You have him running off um, the inside backer or the nickel back. He catches the ball right on the sideline. And the sideline right now is your friend, but you got to get away from it. Get away from it. Get back inside. He made the guy miss, but didn't make him miss um, good enough. He was an inch away from scoring a touchdown here. Uh, he was considered down, was not a fumble. Or would have been a touchdown if it was a fumble. But caption right here. Now, let's run through this next play. Just run through it real quick. How we capture the edge again, once again. You know, they don't do a good job containing the running back. Um, right now, of course, to be bumping that running back going out into um, the flats. But let's run through this play and why that play was so successful. Now, Joyk, remember, too, and this is something where I always talk about this pick play that we're watching where Jones catches the touch. Realistically, what can you do to stop that? I mean, can anything be done? It's a pick. Yeah, They're so, running a no, pick. No, so this is what should happen. But I'm going to tell you what um, Jones does that makes it so um, so difficult to cover. So if you if you look right now, we're in our, we're in our 21 personnel with two backs, one tight end. Um, they're in their 4-3 front, uh, their, their sub-defense. So if you play it um, in slow motion, if you look right here, he's going to fake the handoff to the running back, but it's going to be a terrible. We're not really faking. Okay. And uh, go back one more time for me. I want to show you this because this is one of the biggest parts. And right now, Cruz will be bumping that guy to give, the, to give the, the safety more time to get underneath that pick. And so if you look right here, but he goes so wide that Cruz – can't get a hand on him. If you look at the receiver right here, he does a great pick, makes the makes our DB go underneath that, and he gets a step on him, throws the ball, captures the egg, edge, and goes into the end zone for another score. So, so, so what, what can like be the, done? What can be done? So the only thing that can be done, which it can't be done because we're not, we're not being fast enough on that edge, is being able to have uh, Akura bump, get upfield. He needs to bump. Uh, he needs to bump our running back to slow down his feet, but he can't get to him. He even reaches for him to try to grab him because he knows it's a touchdown. You know, <laughs> he knows it's a, it's a touchdown. But, you know, there's nothing they can really do. It was executed well on the, uh, uh, by the Packers. And, yeah, so that was how they was able to score. Tied the game up at 14 all. When you look at it too, Joy, just the way that with good football teams, in particular the Packers, who, who are a good football team, the execution – is always on point, man. I mean, that that was perfect execute. There was literally no way they could stop that play. There's no way. Even on this play right this here. This lineman here, stepping up right here. This guy, he's got to blow that guy up, doesn't he, to blow this play up? Like, Ooh. That's the, what, oh, the linebacker? That's that, the linebacker. Like, that's what we're talking about. To me, as a fan, is that where the biggest 
deficiency of the play where it can stop. So if we have linebackers that we're talking about that other teams have, they seem to blow that play up. Yeah, so, so more, is back. that am I seeing it right? Yeah, so we're running back real quick from the beginning of this play real quick. And so when you look at this play, you have keep going, keep going. Alright. Too come on, you too too much. Too much. Too much. Next play. Kennedy, come on now. Hey, put the camera on Kennedy in there, Art. Put it on her. Art, put it on her, because she's We didn't practice this part. No, um, it Joey set right it up here? at ten fifty nine. Right here, boom. A right here. So you have so you have your <laughs> so like you have got, who is that? Like, so that's a DB. So so you have our two you have our three DBs out here on the receiver. That um but so you have the nickel and you have your two DBs and then you, you come know. up. But the thing is what I like about him that he keeps the ball alive, he doesn't go out of bounds. Um he tries to he tries to get around that defender, but for me, you know, if I see a DB on the like on the sideline like how our DB is just standing there, you have to see me. I'm not going around you. And I'm not going to try to go around you because that's what you want me to do. You either want me to run out of bounds or throw my feet and I'll go around you. But no, if you're going to stay right there, you have to feel all of this. All, feel 200, all, of all 230 <laughs> pounds. All uh, uh, of you got to feel all, all of it. All gorilla. Yeah. And you're gorilla because <laughs> you're gorilla. getting to the end, right? Because you know that's your home. Yeah. You're going to your home, so yeah. you're going to get big gorilla. So that you know 230 gorilla going to feel like 260. Well, and, and the people are asking on the, on, the, on the chat thread right now who is number eight. Uh, that would be Jamie Collins. Hence why it comes. Rolex win. Listen and <laughs> with, zing, right. <laughs> and the ball in with Bell, where it shows you how it comes full circle, which, which, like we were talking about before last break, before we broke it down, Jamie Collins is somebody that obviously contract, but they're looking to send him, stay him at home because to them, this can't continue to happen. So that e that I'm eager to see. So when I talk, when we talk next week, did we see something that? That improved. Do we see something? The thing that I look at is the effort play, and whoever the the lion was there to blow up. And we mentioned Valdez uh, Scantling, yeah. Scantling, who's who yeah, definitely Scantling, he, made, he made that play. He made that play. He, he made a bunch of plays, yeah. and the and he's one of those blocker guys of the that I think that you forget, and you you know the name because Rogers will throw it to him, but you see the way that they execute, and that's what makes that offense so good. See, I would that. say scheme made scheme. that play. I mean, he was yep. he, I mean, he, Scantling was on an cat island cat out there. Like he runs that play. This is a copycat lead, but it's the way that you run it and capitalize on it because that play can easily be called a pick play. But the way that you run it, you run it to where you're not facing another defender. Because if I was facing him, my shoulders are square this way with you, and I get in your way, they can consider it. Yeah, oh, yeah. But no, I'm, you've but, seen but, it. But, but if I'm running a route and I just happen to, we just happen to bump each other, they play it so well to, a, you know, that's where you kind of, the acting skill comes in. That's yeah. when the acting skills yeah. comes in. And we and, see it. And, you don't, and it doesn't have to be much. We just need a step. Just one step. And that's how close. Which goes back to what I was talking about because I was actually watching that play on the on the Peyton Manning, Eli Manning broadcast at the time. And Peyton, as I told you, as so, and who was the end for the Lions at that time? Did you say it was? Um, Akura. Akura. As soon as he took that step, as soon as his shoulders turned, Peyton that. called it. He said it, they got it. They, they got him because two reasons. That's not the guy that's supposed to be holding him. That's not. But once he saw that, Akura couldn't even get a hand on him because Aaron, uh, Aaron Jones took a – wide release yeah uh, very wide and so it's very so in order to to be able to get a hand on them your initial step coming off the offensive line has to be upfield it has to be it has to be upfield because it you can't, can't be recover toward, you can't recover from that and you saw that he couldn't recover he tried to reach for him but couldn't get there um and then not only that but that's where Veldas was able to come in and set that great pick and it didn't look like a pick but it was definitely a pick. <laughs> it's almost, it's and, accidentally and, on purpose. And, 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 it's just, and it's just making the DB the redirect. It's on purpose. Well, right, it's right, one it's of those things, purpose. too, where it's not a pick against the Packers at Lambeau on Monday night. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's different factors that come into play. But if you don't think you're going to have to fight through that going in on the road or whatever, that's like going into Colorado in game six, down 3-2 in 2002. You know it's not going to be easy, but that's what you – so looking for improvements like and my question is when you're running these plays in practice right when like you said copycat league and this art do copy. you is there moments where you go where you go oh man like this little move this little thing this little 
this little uh, action or whatever during the game because what I noticed there, you breaking it down, everything is split second, split second. Guy makes a split second wrong decision yeah. and the guy's so fast, he's... He, it's a wrap, you can't recover. You can't recover and it's it happens like this more than the big plays. Yeah, you can't take your time. Do you ever find, do you ever find one of your moves or ever find like, like what I noticed there, right? And you mentioned it earlier. That play action handoff to Aaron Jones was like, don't even do it because you're 10 yards away. But he exactly. knew he had to go 10 yards away because, as Peyton Manning said, touchdown when the ball was snapped. Like, is that a... Yeah, so you're talking about the... the intuition. Fake hand, like the fake handoff that... that yeah, like, like the so fact what, that Jones immediately... Like, it, the play had to be called that play action, right? But... The play action was just the no. motion because he was 10 yards in the backfield beating the guy. Well, I would it's, imagine as soon as Rodgers turns like that with the ball extended, that, that will make you lock just for a split second. That, that's what that I mean. Was, and, and everything happens like, yeah. like this. You look at a quarry, he's like, oh, and he's done. And you look at this guy, oh, he's done. You just got to get a guy moving so, a little so bit. So what Akura saw, he wasn't even looking at, uh, he wasn't looking at Aaron Rodgers. He was looking at his assignment was to get a hand on that running back, right? And the ball, the ball out fake, isn't more so. Isn't more so for uh, Aaron Jones to, to have a good fake. That's not what that is because he actually has a free release. He it's not play action. Right, right, right. So we have a play called it's called fire. It's called lightning. Fire to the right, lightning to the left. That's those same exact plays. Those same exact plays. And so what you do is uh, that fire play. You just run straight now, and usually you'll have your fullback. You'll have your fullback running some type of route to kind of take the kind of. You know, take you or be. Um, yeah, pick off the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Make it not a little, really, yeah, So he's going to go get lost, right? Yeah. He's going. Yeah, he's going to go get lost. It's your job to make sure you get to the outside edge, uh, the outside edge, and um, beat the guy, you know, beat the guy with your feet. And so with them, they trust their running back to be able to outrun our edge, which they were able to do, especially when you have a pick uh, from your receiver. So. Aaron Jones, good. Yeah, yeah. The bottom line is the yeah, Packers like, execute, and yeah, they make it look si they make it look simple, and that's good for guys because guys, let's be honest, we like simple stuff. Ah. We like football five days a week. We like things uncomplicated, like Lady Jane's haircuts for men. Walk in, sign in, sit down, and before you know it, you're handsome and clean. Get to Lady Jane's open ten to eight, seven days a week. Walk in anytime. It's wicked awesome. I'm looking to bring out another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months, and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Hi, I'm David Hall from All Financial. With historically low interest rates and five-star service, you could pay your mortgage off faster without increasing your monthly payment. Get started now at 248-308-5000 or chat with us online. Callhallfirst.com. Back out of here, Big D Energy Woodward Sports Network. Neil Rule, Joy Bell, Ball with Bell. Informative as always. DMAC, Darren McCarty in the house as well. Um, Aaron Rodgers, man. This just in. Good. They're pretty good. <laughs> They're pretty good. Who was your Aaron Rodgers, D-Mac? Is it as simple as a Colorado Avalanche? Who was that player? Uh, you know what? It, at different times that you had to figure out a way to fight through. You know, I guess for the Lions, or for, for us, it would sort of been that. But, at, you know, at different times. I mean, you got to remember, right, is that, yeah, we had... Uh, whether it was Phoenix, Winnipeg, who were combined, Chicago or St. Louis, you know what we had there? We were there, Green Bay Packers. We were more Green Bay than, <laughs> than Green true. Bay was. So, But, you know, we had to battle. At the end of the day, it was always we had to battle through Dallas or battle through Colorado. So one of these days, hopefully, these Lions will get through them just like we did. Yep, absolutely. I'll be here watching. But, it, like, again, when we break that stuff down and you see why and the progress and – there's things to improve on, but if the Lions are making moves roster-wise that we notice, who's this guy, <laughs> right? He gone. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, that's, that's progress. That's something that wasn't in past regimes. Well, Aaron Rodgers certainly is a, is a guy that everybody around here uh, loves to hate. But, you know, he, <laughs> he was on the Pat McAfee show, which, you know, he, he's 
pretty much exclusive to the Pat McAfee show as far as uh, as far as media appearances go. But he had some thoughts on the NFL media. He said, I think all these people on all these shows think they're celebrities, and they believe that they have this platform to say whatever they want. Do we have that, that video? That's the state of the media right now. And, you know, again, that was on the Pat McAfee show, but that was his comments. And for those of you who who saw that clip, I, I went in and I watched it as well. You know, he had some other thoughts also. But, you know, I think the time has come where it, it's time to admit that Aaron Rodgers is right with this one to some degree. I mean, and, and look, this you got to remember where this is coming from too. You know, I make my living. You know, I drive my car and eat and have a house because of sports media. Like, it's, it's what I do. buy a helicopter? I just bought a helicopter. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> no, but, you know, I mean, this is coming from a media guy. But this stuff, like this, this need for content, and maybe, maybe I'm, you know, biting the hand that feeds me when when I say this type of stuff. But I, he's right, man. Just the the people in this business, and some of you, a lot of you, probably don't know this, but the the sports media profession are filled with some of the biggest ego dudes in the world. <laughs> I mean, for it, what, right? For, yeah. For, for for what? Look, man. Like what I sit here, do? Joyke breaks down a play, right? Mm-hmm. He sees it. He lived it. That's <laughs> that's how he made his money. You know, that's how he made his life. You know more about it than I do when when it comes. That's just the way it is. I'm I'm comfortable in my skin saying that kind of stuff. You know, and just the same way, if I drop Joyk off at the basketball game and say, "All right, talk for two hours," he'll say, "You know more about that than I do," because that's my profession. Like that's what I do. But he's right, man. Like these guys, the media, the 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 egos in the sports media world. Are out of control. Well, man. there's one. There's one exception to every rule, and we have it here. Tom Masway knows more hockey than I do. Just ask him. Just so, ask him. I'll I tell mean, you. You know, and all that stuff. But everybody's got an opinion, and it's. I, I I don't I don't care. I don't mind it. But it gets back to don't tell me what. Tell me who. Who are you getting your information from? So it's so much more important to filter out some of these agendas. And a lot of times, when you said where the ego is, is because of a personal agenda. Right, that mostly is is whether to and and follow the money trail. A lot of the things, but at the end of the day, yeah, Aaron Rodgers got a point. When Aaron Rodgers starts talking how he feels, that means Aaron Rodgers is more comfortable, and right. that means Aaron Rodgers is liking Aaron Rodgers, which means, Art, too bad you didn't bet the uh, thirteen and thirteen and four Green Bay train because you might be able to have it. But I, but you're right, and and a lot and. I don't understand what you do is not who you are, right? So for me, it's about people being people, but a lot of the times with the way that social media is, the way that the technology is, is that everybody's got a voice. So you, it's up to you to look who you listen to or, or how you take in that information. That's what's the important part. Right, and, and I know, and Joyke, when we sit here and we talk about Lions football, and, and I'm critical of Jamie Collins, or I'm saying, man, this, this edge is, is wide open, I'm making an observation, and then you know, they pay me to come in here and talk about what I thought about the Lions game. By no means am I an expert, and by no means you know, am I saying, well, he should have done this. I'm just making the observation, Joyke, that I'm saying that edge is open. Every single time they go down the field, every single play, the Packers are getting to that. That's just my observation. I'm not going to tell you the why or what's going on. I mean, that that's more for for you to be able to analyze. But you know, as as far as and you've shared your stories before, your interactions with the media and all that kind of stuff. Are you noticing this too? Like this this ego in the sports media is getting out of control, man. No, I think they media is very powerful because of the way that they can the way that they can make a story their own all right they can take words and they can flip them they can twist them uh you have some you have some good journalists you have some guys who you know who have a vendetta out against certain guys who they might use that platform to paint a picture of certain guys a certain type of way and it's been it's happened before it's been done before uh you know you look at the media with marshawn lynch where he didn't want to speak with media you know you can paint the picture however you want to do it you know so uh i haven't had too many hiccups with the media, but I do know how, um, I guess, how we can push your career forward or it can, you know, they can write stories to bring your career down. Uh, you know, the, um, the the rule of thumb is, you know, the media builds you up to tear you down for a bigger story, you know. Yeah, and that's and I know then that's the way we are as a society, too. You know, we're a build you up, tear you down, whatever fits our narrative. No, I and, and I, 
<laughs> my question to you, <laughs> Neil. My question yeah. to you now, though, right? Because most of the stuff is is where. How did the information to us feed? It fed nationally, <clears throat> now into locally. Where where a lot of no matter where you are, you have people either local sports, local news, whatever, where you can get your information. I think you know great points made by people on a on a country level like the ESPNs and the Foxes, they don't have the clue or the pulse as much as they, they try to put on to what's going on in each area, right? Like, if we're talking about the Pistons here, you, you look at during draft talk time and stuff, what they're talking about, we know what's going on. So that so I think when people see that they can get the information at home, right, it's the same thing as why do I watch uh, Ryan and the friends at Fox you know, in the morning, whether, well, you know, like the night that I've been watching it since I've been here, right? It's, 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 much, it's viewing. So it's where you get your information from. And I think if you want to know what's going on locally to any college or any professional team, go to the guys that are doing it like us, you know, the Woodward sports is of the, of the areas, because that's where you'll get, in and, my and opinion. That, and that the, was my frustration with the Stafford stuff. You know, like on, on Sunday Night Football and all that stuff. Again, you know, yesterday we were talking about it. The way that they painted that picture, you would think that Matt Stafford was Andy Dufresne in Shawshank Redemption. And he, he picked out the wall and then he climbed through the sewers and got out of Detroit. When, you know, I mean, again, they didn't talk about the fact that he did play in big games. He didn't talk about the fact that he had a historically great defense, a historically good backfield as well, just to give Joyke some props on that. You know, they never brought those points up because I don't know that they knew him. Honest to God, I don't know. I know they didn't know him. I don't know that, but I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet you anything that they they had no confirmation, no understanding of that, of how great that defense was in 2014. That's my frustration with it. You know what it is? I didn't until Joint broke it down to me. Yeah, and so, we went through players, and then we went, and I sat here and I went, damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we had some dogs. Man. That hurt. We lost, we, lost, we, lost a lot of, we lost a lot in 15. We lost a lot on that defensive side in, in 15. Uh, but uh, to kind of talk about what uh, – what D-Mac was kind of alluding to um, earlier was about how um, you have these guys in D-Mac. Yeah. So what was you – so when you look at these players, right, that we have now. Right, yeah. What's the next step for us, like, moving forward? Like, what's the next step aside from – and they're doing it with, you know, with – you know, with college and doing it the professional way, but what's the next step? I, I know we have I know we have the thirty four month window, but what's our next step? Thirty four more games, thirty two more games now. Thirty two more games, yeah. right? I, I, in my opinion, you, what are we finding out? The reality is, is that in some spots it's a lot darker and it's a lot uh, more emptier in the closet than we thought. But Brad Holmes and Dan Clamble have opened up that closet and said, there's nothing here instead of, oh, we got stuff here or there's stuff coming or this, right? I think the progress is, is because they're identifying the talent that they have or where they're going to go and their transparency and building it together. I always go back to, like you say, because I agree, the fact that they have former players in positions that aren't cutting their teeth right out of the game that have been in other organizations. And who am I talking about? The Aaron Glens, you know, the Hank Fraley's, the Deuce Staley's. So it's, it's, it's a building process. And after two games, yes, there's things that I don't like, but there's things different that I see that I like that I'm dialed into. To see your point joint, what do they have to do? They have to keep, being transparent and going out and doing what they're doing and finding out by what they don't have what they need because that's what the Green Bay, the second half and everything, you, like the first half of the second half is is Jared Goff's career. It's it's the Lions. It's different things. You know, you can give it to Green Bay, but the fact is, is that, wow, we were in that game for a half. There's something there. It ain't SOL in my opinion. So what do they have to do? Keep doing what they're doing. I don't know exactly what it is they're doing, but they're addressing 
different things and and they're having these big boy conversations adult conversations and it seems like you know we got progress and saying that we got progress we're kind of going to get beat by 21 this weekend to, to baltimore but again are there ways that we can look and say okay i saw this and i saw that it, and it's I thirty thousand foot progress it's not boots on the ground so, progress guy if we if we're gonna say and here's the thing when i said the first time neil when you and i talked and said, this is a two-year program. Joyce said, yeah, absolutely. So that's 36 games. Two in, you can't bail on it, right? You can't bail on it. Like, Art bails on the... And it's going to get worse before it gets gonna better. It's going to get worse. Before it but gets better. But the worst, it's like the surrender. When you surrender, you actually win. Victory, you don't have to fight anymore, right? That's the thing. they got to surrender to a few things Which before they, are. they readdress. And they are. And they you are. Know, and, I think that's the there. key. You watch enough sports. You broadcast enough sports. You talk enough sports. You listen to enough sports. Your life is sports. It's a different than what it was for us growing up right. around and now. But now, it's gonna get it's gonna get like stormier, like outside. There's more days like this until it gets sunny. Yeah, that's that's the way it is. Speaking of sunny. You want an advantage, a sunny advantage over your sports book? You need to download BetQL, the only app you'll need to make smart bets. Their Best Bets computer model scans over 350,000 unique bets per year to give you a best bet recommendation for every game across all major sports and gives you the reasoning behind why you should place the bet. BetQL's Best Bets algorithm went 13-2 and two on five-star bets for Week 1 NFL games between Thursday and Sunday. Plus, their platform has all the data and all the analytics you would ever need for all of your own sports betting research purposes. Head to the App Store or Google Play Store now to download BetQL. Head to try.betql.com slash WSN. That'll get you started. And you can enter the discount code WSN at payment checkout for 20 25% off their subscription offerings or check out their special offer in order to receive a free year of BetQL. Don't miss out on your chance to beat your sports book this football season with BetQL. Tony is a third generation logger that has a simple, practical approach to life and work. That's why his Coast DX342 knife is perfect for him. The stainless steel blade is rust resistant and made for all weather use and the double roll lock safety ensures that it will never inadvertently close when he doesn't want it to. That's why Coast is trusted tough. Back at it here, Big D Energy Woodward Sports Network. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, Joy Bell in the house as well. Fish in the bowl, the, the product of Flint. Flint's favorite son, Arturo, in the house as well. He's in the production booth. Happy to have Art hey, with us real here. Quick, Art, what's the what's the status? Y'all don't know if you know this or not, but what's the status on them changing out the pipes in uh, Flint? Are they working on it? Uh, it's an ongoing thing. I mean, it's there's there's lead in the water pipes still, obviously. Most of them, it, it, truth be told, it was 10% of the city uh, actually I mean, had lead in the really in the pipes. So yeah, that's I mean that's real important. I, I know they just rolled out uh, a new plan to bring in. Uh, I believe was it two, two hundred million. Um, actually, I think it's a little bit more than that. Um, but I think there's a big but Like even my hometown, Ben Harbor, we have lead, lead in our pipes. And yeah, Flint was kind of the catalyst of like, hey, there's more than just Flint is the issue. But obviously, kids are still suffering from it today. It's right. A, even my it's hometown has it. I just saw that uh, they're trying to um, give, I think, 20, 20 million to my hometown to to replace yeah. the piping. I mean, it's, this is crazy. I mean, I know it's a pretty I'm, simple fix, everyone. Simple Spend fix. the money. That's it. Money. <laughs> That's it. Spend the money for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got spend the money. Infrastructure stuff because, like yeah, that. Yeah, I think we should begin near like so. She put in to get roll out this infrastructure bill for about eight trillion, uh, eight billion. I'm sorry, eight billion. Um, and I think the U.S. are trying to do like one trillion or something like uh, something like that uh, for this new infrastructure, something like that. But don't give me don't give me the line. But yeah, we. That's crazy to me. I don't think they people understand how that really, you know, affects the development of our of our young kids' minds. Like it's, the the other issue too is, if I may, is there's still lines to get clean water, yeah. like in Flint. Like you drive and drive by them, there's lines that are miles long of cars waiting to get water, and uh, it's it's a sad situation. So, you know, um, 
the simple fix is yeah, spend the money. Spend the like, money. What, yeah, what's the not hold? So, so, either you spend the money right. or you don't care. Well, there's, yeah, there's there's, so this, so this is so, to, sort of. So this is the information that I kind of I got from people who work from the state is that in order for them to really dig up the pipes and replace all the pipes, they would have to shut off the water lines for about six months. Oh. And for the people who can't leave, it's like putting like a like a death trap. It's like a then add like, that onto the total. Yeah. And figure it out. And figure it out. All right. And do it. You yes. either spend the money or you don't care. It's two two outcomes. Yeah. And so how no, and not two things can be true. No, this, is this a, isn't both things can be true. No, <laughs> no. one thing or the other. Yeah. So Neil, I get your point. They I think they're spending part of the money, but part of the problem is agreeing on how much money to spend for. And the other problem is they have to change the pipe, they gotta find where the lead is in one of the pipes okay. and they gotta remove like the whole pipeline. Okay. And they gotta find workers to fix the pipeline, and that's the and that's another issue with the workers. Like it's like people don't want to work. Yeah, right they now. gotta find people that want to work to fix the pipeline. This okay. is like a ten year process process. They gotta figure out who's gonna want to do this right, for the end ten of the day, years. Get it done. Yeah, right. I Can't keep coming day. back to that, man. Now, every excuse that we have in the book is. It's a solution. No, I, I agree. They should get it done. Yeah, but I'm just I know somebody who doesn't have lead in their pipes. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 11 kids without Well, without the, natu- the natural segue to that discussion <laughs> is, is Panay Sewell, right? Like, that's that's oh, the, the perfect circle right there. We're talking about right road now? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got something in the pipeline there. There is something in the pipeline with yeah. Panay Sewell. There is yeah. no question about it. Panay Sewell has not allowed a sack. Uh, as a left tackle since week four at Oregon in 2018. That comes that from Pro Football Focus. Was that not a, considered a sack? At left tackle? Yeah. Was that not considered a sack? Um, the video that I, I sent, that wasn't a sack? No. I mean, they didn't. I don't know what the rules are. Was he at left are, tackle? Not yeah, since left week four. Which, which did, does uh, that mean Nick, when, Nick this Bosa, uh, when, when did Bosa kinda, away, this poor kid? Kind of ran through him a little bit and – I'm, I'm just, go, I'm just going by play. what Pro Football Focus said, ma'am. Oh, and that's, I'm, I'm, that's, I'm going off the eye in the sky. That's the yeah. rule, did, you, right? did you get the clip that I sent earlier today? That you sent earlier today? Yeah, I said earlier this morning. Earlier this morning. No. Because you don't check, but you want me to check your – okay, it's fine. No. But, but anyway, though, the moral of the story is Sewell's one of the highest-rated NFL no. offensive linemen in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. Uh, and, hey, I, I, I love him. Yeah, and, uh, and the oh, bottom the line is I just, sent half an hour before the show. Yeah, I did get that one. Okay, yeah. cool. Yep. You, uh, don't, don't say you don't. Just, don't yep. say you didn't get it. Yep. Don't say you didn't get it okay. if you got it. You done, thank, boys? Thank, thank, hey, thank, thank you, Neil, dog. for being the voice thank, of reason. Yeah. Can we talk thank about the Atomic Dog? Now? Atomic Dog, what's up, man? Art is in there not doing his job. Oh, yeah. Why don't you show everybody your phone, Joik? Huh? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, getting back to Sewell. One of the highest graded offensive line. It's, I like to bring these things up periodically because you know I stand up here and extol the virtues of Sewell because he's a draft pick that's going to hit. Yep. That's it. I mean, you know, just, just a reminder, everyone, that Sewell's on track. Sewell's good. That's another one in the box, Darren. So are you even at all worried about the conversation to, to be had when Decker comes back? No. Or do you think no. that he just plays himself into this, this spot? You leave him there, you have a... Is that what we're getting to, or no. hey, well, this that, is a, that's this, down the road. This is a that's Drew Bledsoe, so right? Tom Brady situation. You're not about to put that man back at left tackle. Let's move forward. Now, this, is it that cut and dry, Joyke, in the locker that room? Cut and dry. What's okay, the locker good. room? It's not the locker room. It's not the locker room. No, it's but what office. is the locker room perspective? For, no, it's it's going to be some. It's going to be any turmoil because he was he's already come out and said that you know you know if guys are willing to play different positions. What do we have to do to win? He's already come out and said whatever whatever we have to do to win. If he has to go to right tackle, let that man go to right tackle. But right now, that man is playing at a high level. He's going to be here long after Decker's gone. And this is our guy. Keep him at left tackle. He's doing a great job. Now, there's only one, there's only one clip where I saw where um, Bosa got the better half of him um, as far as, you know, running through him. But aside from that, he's been holding his own. I mean, and consistently. Right? And so, I like him. You don't move this guy. Detroit keep Dabber says, right there. Big Panay energy uh, Ooh, is in like the it. house. Big P energy. Yeah, and, and Grizzly Briggs brings up the point. Now, and look, at some point, I guess I have to get past this, but I, but I share Grizzly Briggs' uh, outlook on it. He says, Okuda killed us. It, and it kills you twice because A, can't play, apparently. A, but it's, it's pretty much as if 
You just forfeited Skipped. your pick. Yeah, you Could just you said no. Third We're overall, good. Detroit Lions will pass. Yeah, that, that's exactly what you did. So now you have to invest that capital again. So it costs you twice. I mean, when, when you start getting analytical on it. But whatever. I mean, there's there's nothing there's nothing you can do. Yeah, it, there, there's nothing you can do about it. But you know, again, what are you what are you going to do? It, it's it's the lay of the land. It's it's how the ball's lying, right? It's in a divot in the fairway, D man. What, what are you going to do? You got to hit it where it lies, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just learn how to hit the ball first. Get to the ball first, Neil. Get to the back of the ball first. Yeah, uh, Curtis Schultz said, uh, "You guys sound privileged. There's already enough tax on gas and property tax to pay for it, and it should have been worked on 50 years ago. And every year after that, the question is." Where has that money so been going? Yeah. Your politicians. Is that, is that yeah. privilege? Privilege to say, get it done? So you're telling me that 50 years ago this was sort of be solved before we came about this business and stuff, right? So, but, but we're going to get stuck here holding the bag? Well, I mean, you know, the people that say that, they say, like, you're privileged. I mean, for me personally, yeah, I've had a pretty, priv- you know, yeah, I've had a pretty easy life. I'm, I'll always be the first one to admit that. You know, like, I, I know that. I, I Yeah, admit but have to you that. not worked... For yeah, what I mean, one hundred percent. Yeah, I my say. parents that, were. You know, the word privilege. That, that I don't. I'm not a big fan of that word. No, I I get the connotation with it, but at its core, like when you break it down, yeah, you know, I mean, I grew up. You know, Joy grew up in Benton Harbor. I imagine your school was a little bit different than than the than the school I went to. You know what I'm saying? Anybody I mean, here go to public school? Yeah, I, I did go. I went to public school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so did I. Right. Yeah. You know, it, but I'm saying, no, you know, like the area I'm from is probably different than Benton Harbor and those types of things. It yeah, is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's no comparison. This, we're not going to get into that because that's a no. whole other topic. That's no, but Joyko, though, but I, I'm one of the, I can stand up here in front of this camera yeah. and say, I recognize yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah, you can't compare even even public schools. You can't compare public schools to public schools. No doubt. No doubt. You can't compare, grow, you can't compare, you can grow growing up in different things. You can compare different things, but it's that understanding of whatever I don't know I just pri- privilege just I get seem, what privilege just seems like it, it, I don't know for lack of better it's like it's like bitch you know what I mean like it's like calling somebody a bitch <laughs> I don't know I it just that word isn't in my vocabulary yeah. and I don't like it because it's got a, a, a negative, negative connotation con- no, and, and I, don't I do enjoy agree. negative Arthur I'm trying to break Mr Arturo of negative energy yeah. so I can't have that here yes. I don't know that's just me. Yeah, uh, but, I don't know what privilege But I, I guess about. I'm privileged, too, though. Yeah, uh, Aaron uh, Gaina says, all of Michigan, the whole state of Michigan needs a rebuild, LOL. Yeah, you're right. I mean, when you boil it all down, Where are you going right. to start, the pipes or the roads? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, <laughs> what's more important? start somewhere. Well, well, what's more important, you know? Water. Um, water, exactly. Our number one resource um, outside of oxygen. Like, this. yeah. You know, so why, why is, I mean, why are we working on the roads first? Because we're no. going to look pretty. <laughs> yeah, that hey. that is true. Uh, I got a text here from from uh, Mac D Mac. He says, uh, "I suggest you twist off the top of the Oreo and add a spoonful of peanut butter. Twist the top back on and enjoy." Yeah, but you just buy that at the grocery how, store. How, how could we miss something that simple? <laughs> Gosh, life hacks are unbelievable. Life oh. hacks are unbelievable. I think I will. <coughs> I'm gonna try it with the regular one first, and then go to the super chocolate. The peanut butter one, but oh my gosh! Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that came that I came from Mac, and, and he was he was spitting truth right there. <laughs> wow. uh, when we come back, uh, D Mac wants to update. AEW is a hot topic of discussion. I watched it last night. D Mac wants Did to you? give his update. Uh, wants to touch on the uh, touch on the Ryder Cup too before we Ooh, bounce yeah. out of here. But before we do, Joy. have I told you about Guardian Alarm? No, you haven't. I haven't. Tell me more. Yeah. Guardian Alarm gets it. A good defense on and off the field helps you to feel secure. Guardian Alarm has state-of-the-art technology that helps you feel safe all 24-7, along with local monitoring. Guardian Alarm also has convenient features that let you check in on your home, control lights and temperatures, detect smoke or carbon monoxide. It can even let you lock and unlock your doors from wherever you are in the country. Or in the world, just need Wi-Fi. Call 800 Stay Out today. That's 800 Stay Out. Guardian Alarm has been trusted for over 90 years, keeping families safe. Families safe from privileged people. Stay tuned. What was sports? Welcome to the Call Sam Chopper Shop, where you can win a custom-built chopper while helping our veterans 
at the same time. Watch as the Bad Pig Custom Team turns this bike into a one-of-a-kind classic chopper. And when it's finished, we'll be donating the bike to Volunteers of America Michigan to raffle off in support of our vet. A great cause to give back to those who've given so much. Watch for Call Sam Chopper Shop episodes on our social media channels and get your raffle ticket today at callsam.com backslash chopper shop. Final segment of Big D Energy Woodward Sports Network. Neil Rule, Joy Bell, DMAC, Darren McCarty in the house as we come down the stretch. And DMAC, look, a lot of people are talking about our YouTube chat thread. You can get involved on our YouTube channel. If you're listening on the radio, certainly we appreciate that as well. Our Twitter handles are up there on the screen. You can send tweets. Also, we'll read all of it. Uh, we appreciate you know, everybody that's getting that's getting involved with the show certainly do appreciate your support. But you know, DMac, I know a lot of people on the Twitter thread were, or excuse me, the YouTube chat thread were talking about the AEW last night. My son's a big wrestling fan, as we have talked about many times before. He was, he, I think, I think he officially made the jump off WWE last night. I you, think I don't. We didn't talk about but it, but I'm getting that feeling. You don't have to jump off it. All you have to do is understand what you're no, watching. No, we're a right and left, A and B. Society, well, that's DMAC. your choice. You're either right or you're wrong. Okay. Well, that's your choice in the rule. <laughs> the, that wow, they rule breaker. No, the golden rule at the rule household is a little bit different than at work, obviously. But AW, the Forbidden Door. You know, obviously, last night. Um, you know, so they're doing the Grand Slam. They're at Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York, which, which was a, pretty cool, by which the way. is really cool. So they're doing it in the tennis courts, and right. and I love it because it's thinking about sort of the fans. But the big thing is two of the biggest, two of the greatest. If you're going to name top five wrestlers of today, are Brian Danielson, who just come over, and Kenny Omega, right? And they, and to me, I'm the storyline guy. Right, and the best part about all these storylines with what you hear all these guys, they have the history. So whether you know the, the people or not, but the fact that the two best arguably in the world go out for a 30 minute match and wrestle for 30 minutes back and forth, back and forth, telling the story that they both get counted out, which only makes bigger sense coming to a pay-per-view. But I think as far as the wrestling, the storytelling, these two bulls that haven't fought for 10 years since they were in Japan, I love the history and the story of it. So that was just one of them. You know, you have this this Malachi Black, uh, who is Aleister Black in, in uh, WWE, come over with this menacing and he's uh, battling the Rhodes family, Cody Rhodes and stuff like that. You know, have Miro announced that he's fighting Sammy Guevara. You know, you, you, you got the tag teams, you got all this stuff, but it's so exciting right now that even on you know, uh, on Friday now there's a ra there's a rampage that they're doing a two hour rampage. Uh, CM Punk was out there. Just the vibe and the energy of going on where, and this is what I like. When I have friends or and I say, hey, it looks like you guys are having fun. And then when they tell me they're having more fun than it looks, how can you not want to support that? So for me, that's just what we're watching with one program, AEW, which the Forbidden Door has bled to, to everything else other than the WWE, which gets into all the independents, gets into my love of helping blow up some of these younger guys that we hopefully one day will see make their stride and get their goals. But if you want to see one of the best matches, and here's the thing, right? The hype in wrestling is always bigger than the match because that's what they build up, build up. Right. This match was flat out old school, like these guys at the top of their game. It's like watching the best athletes in the world. It's like, it's like having the Ovechkin Crosby battle for a hockey game. You know, it's like, it's like watching Shohei Otani. You know, pitch and bat. You know, it's something that's special. So, I mean, I was locked in, and it's good to hear that. If if you got to make a a black and white call in your household that you made the right one. Well, that, that's up to him. You know, I just I just go along for the ride. I watch it with him because I, I I told you this off the air before. I like to just feed the pad. Like he's passionate about Absolutely. something, man. So that's I like to feed that is. passion. So I'll get involved. I'll do it. And I'm sure you know the nature of youth, right? In six months, he'll be all in on something else, and that's cool. I'll get in there with him, and we'll do that too. But that's so. the beauty, and you know this about wrestling, right? When you're bringing up Don Morocco and whatever like this. <laughs> wrestling, and for me, is that I dictated, is you have it 
and then it can go away a little bit, but then it comes back, and then it comes, and now the fact that I think that these storylines and whatever, whichever way you want to get involved, yeah, these kids, they can go off it, but they have some just of how it's done right. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like when you see athletes, it's like watching your favorite team and they're playing with each other, for each other, fighting with each other, good, bad, or indifferent. That's what you want. And that's why you root for these guys. Charles McLean says, I watched AEW last night and thought DMAC was on the mic. Then I realized it was CM Punk Well, that's instead. my guy, dude. He's the leader. <laughs> He's the leader of the, the cult of personality. Clobbering time. Let's get her going. He's got a match against uh, Powerhouse Hobbs on Friday. So let's get her done. He needs my backup. I got you, Punk. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, got a quick Ryder Cup update before we step well, out Well, it starts here. tomorrow, right? Starts I'm telling you guys this. Hey, this, be... isn't, this isn't the Get Right special. Europe... You're up at over two to one's worth a spin. You're spinning it. I'm saying, you know what? Throw that ten dollars that Art likes to really just. You can't really lose it on mybookie.ag with the bloodbath. I mean, somebody's gonna bleed in the UFC, but I usually give Art money to to parlay. I'm gonna say bet the tie. Plus twelve hundred's a tie. The tie. Bet the tie. Ten bucks will bring you one twenty. Yeah, but that's very, 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 very unlikely. That was almost 12 varies, and it's almost plus 1,200 fish. <laughs> that's the so reason that it's sort of 12 to 1, fish. Well, I know, but it would have to be... Uh, Here's the other play that you can make, right? What, 13 where, and a half, where 13 and a half? Where, from history, the Europeans are, are known more to be better team, right? So the four ball, uh, you know, the foursome, stuff like this. So, what are, so if you're going to wait... Take them two to one to begin with, then wait till the Americans are down money going into the singles. Take the positive money, maybe get out. them even, hedge it, and then it comes up at 12. You save everything, you win 12, 120. Yep, and there you go, man. See, that's like a surgeon there, that's a tie. That's yeah. a tie. <laughs> You're like a surgeon, D Mac. I like it. It's like a baccarat. That's a tie. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yep. Hey, everybody, that'll do it for Big D Energy. Thanks for watching. Well, see you later. Deuces.